Hello, everybody, and that is Nate on the camera. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Bring it back. It's me. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Prestige Goddess, the Dungeons Dragons campaign brought to you by Prestige Gaming Community. Solid open for two weeks off. It was a really good time. Um, we like to keep you guessing. God. We have a really cool session in store for you. But first, a few announcements to get through. First and foremost, a lot of the music you'll be hearing tonight is brought to you by Midnight Syndicate. Midnight Syndicate is a music production group creating goth, horror, and fantasy RPG music that you can be using at your tables at home. You can find their music on Spotify, watch your music videos on YouTube, or even ask your Amazon Alexa device to play Midnight Syndicate right now. For more information, go to MidnightSyndicate.com or use the command in our chat, exclamation point midnight for a direct link. And that's too hard to type out the entire web address for you. We also use Arc and Forge. Arc and Forge is a comprehensive tool for dungeon masters and game masters alike to be using to bring their games to the next level. Arc and Forge, you can craft your own world using sound effects, ambient sounds, and music playlists. Uh, you also have a map making tool that you could be using as well with animated effects. If you are doing in-person games, you can do all those sort of things. Uh, really cool. We loved it. We've used it in person before. So good times. Uh, for more information, you can go to arcaforge.com and buy their software for a one-time fee. And if you don't like paying full price for things, you can use the code Prestige at checkout for five dollars off the 35 dollar usd total that's really cool uh let's Pretty bring cool. in everybody else hello everybody else hello us hello. and everybody hey. i'm back <laughs> hey, how's it going, everyone? so you see here that we're very low on some health and some people uh but we still have a few more announcements to get through uh you'll notice that a lot of the artwork here looks really nifty and neat uh that was made by a dead man oh <laughs> no, he's still alive his character's dead, though. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Jeremiah is still alive. Um, but Aspen is dead as of last session. Lines. But, you know, it's really cool artwork. He did the line art, and then the coloring done, was done by Starving Artist. Uh, you can find both of these artists in our Discord. Use the command exclamation point Discord in our chat for a link to join that, and then reach out to them by tagging them, private messaging them, the whole shebang uh, for very fair pricing for very great talent. Um, you also might notice here that we are sponsored by Puzzles and Survival, who currently has an ongoing partnership with Resident Evil. Uh, use the command exclamation point P, as in Paul, N as in Nancy, S as in Sam, in the chat for a link to download that game onto your mobile device. If you want to support the stream and by extension, the Trevor Project, which we'll talk about in just a second, uh, you will need to be a new player, get your headquarters to level five and initialize an attack on a zombie base with your alliance. Uh, you only have two more days to complete this uh, goal, but the overall task takes about 30 minutes of initial gameplay, uh, much less if you really stick to it and just keep playing the game consistently. Uh, but very easy, passive game to play. Super fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I did enjoy it. And if you want to help the stream even further past those first two goals, uh, you can get a five star hero as well. Jeremiah. So we're being made out with butt chimps. Stop monkeying around, please. <laughs> um, so <laughs> yes, then so what else do we got? So yeah, Trevor Project, you might notice that above your chat bar right now, there is a goal for a charity fundraiser. Uh, $15 has been raised out of our thousand dollar goal that we'll be having now from now until the end of June. Typically we do a fundraiser like this in the month of June. But since so many legislatures at the state level decided that they're going to use Outrage Olympics to tar target and marginalize LGBT people such as trans kids and drag queens, we're going to be doing this fundraiser starting now, earlier. The most action that we can do since many of us don't even live in those states. So if you want to help uh, protect LGBT youth and by extension other LGBT people, please donate to the Trevor Project using our button here and help contribute to the goal. If you like Pride merch and you want something to wear for Pride Month or just any day that you're feeling proud, uh, we have a collection of Pride merchandise on our merch store at merch.pgc.gg. Uh, you can also use the command exclamation point merch in our chat for a direct link to that. A, all of the proceeds of our Pride merchandise will be going to the Trevor Project as well. So I ordered the Lich Please tank top because I'm currently in a tank top era of my life. 
so and it's all really cool i love it and it's, it's just a really really good time um so thank you to everyone who is looking to donate or has donated already or just you know taking part into the activism as well so thank you to everybody uh I promise I'm almost done with announcements. Two more sponsors for tonight. Uh, the first one is Found Familiar Coffee, a small local business uh, that makes D&D themed coffee roasts. They have both original uh, blends and single origin beans, along with a spectrum of caffeinated and non-caffeinated uh, blends as well. I personally like their regular Knoll there, which is their uh, espresso blend. If you like the decaffeinated, uh, is there a false life? You can use code Prestige at checkout for 10% off. Use the command exclamation point coffee in our chat for a direct link. And finally, uh, because he is dead, he cannot make this announcement. But we are also sponsored by Rogue Energy. Uh, Rogue Energy is a really delicious energy drink brand that you can order shakers and either tubs or single packets of different flavors. I love their sour candy flavor i also have really enjoyed their blue raspberry um and their fruit punch as well which is their hydration flavor so if you like to get energized uh you want a really cool shaker i use this for both the gem and my protein shakes as well rogue energy can also be a pre-workout uh go to rogueenergy.com and use code procedure check out for 10 percent off <laughs> fun fact fun fact if uh, our usual guy had been drinking more rogue energy he'd still be alive to make this announcement yeah. I literally just made that Excellent. joke in chat. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. You know what? Great minds. There we go. Uh, am I for well, great mind anything? I feel mind. like we just did a whole lot of that in just one oh, little go. Natural ones. That's true. Yeah, we oh, did. Yes, natural ones for every five natural ones we roll on a D20 that are used in the game. You can win a set of dice. We do a, a dice giveaway. And a, by the way, a huge it. congratulations to Dakota for winning the Jasper set of dice. The, um, uh, April, March giveaway. <laughs> there is no <laughs> April giveaway, but we'll be returning with more giveaways in May. Yeah. Oh, I have an announcement. Uh, I saw a guy spill a bunch of scrabble letters on the road. I just had to ask him what the word was on the street. All right, so session's over. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. All right, good night, and everybody. And goodbye, everybody. Um, so... <laughs> And he, we, we, we've been off for two weeks, everybody. We've been gone for two weeks. So here to tell us what happened two weeks ago here at Procedure Encounters, but just mere seconds ago to the party is none other than Zokifli himself. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do with my friend. I don't know what to do with my friend. Masa pertama saya berjumpa Aspen dan Astra, saya lebih seperti haiwan daripada seorang manusia. Benar-benar saya sesat masa itu, tapi mereka melimbalak menyelamatkan saya. And Aspen and Astra, they saved me and now I follow them so I can save them. But today was the last time I saw Aspen. Today begins very simple. I hunt a rabbit. And plus two, I cook it and give it to my friends. We live on the road, a long ride but quiet. And we saw very soon, very far away, the maybe six more hours. We stopped at a farmhouse. I told the pe old people that we were safe and not killers, but they did not believe. Huh? No one is trusting here, so not like a uh, home. So next house, Nazmir say he will try. So he paid the woman there 100 gold and also said we help with the farmhouse. Ah, uh, of course I can uh, clean the stables. Uh, Astra, she made a new animal. She turned into one of them. So she find a new shape, but she cannot keep the wool. Uh, okay, so later we sleep in the barn. And Cormac and Nazmir were uh, taking their watch. I don't know what happened. They say there was a voice in the fire speaking to them. And a woman, she's coming out of the fire. They told me she is asking for one of us to die. And Cormac, he says, kill me, kill himself. But he did not take him. And later, 
she called out fire onto the city very soon over in the hills we saw Alama. we have to go there fast so everyone we wake up we get onto our horses and we ride right and then suddenly there is a fire big big explosion and there was the man from many days before the maestro he had earlier he taken my body taken control made me hurt my friends this time he took hydro and also he made these um, fire creatures elementals and they fight us i uh, we did had a uh, great difficulty Kaidro, she is down. Aspen, Nazmir, also Casmir, everyone down. Aspen, he's lying on the ground, and then a fire elemental comes to him with its claws. And I use my blood curse, even though it has no blood, I know I must stop it. But not enough. I could not save my friend. I heard him say, call to his sister, help our people. And then he is gone. And so is the maestro and all the elementals. But now I am in my tiger form. And I worry I will hurt someone too. The maestro left you with the words. That they control the narrative, they have power of the story, and as a show of power, finished off your friend Aspen. Currently, many of you lie dying in the battlefield. We will continue to turn orders where we left off last session as the Maestro and the Fire Elementals begin to retreat away. <laughs> So, let's go ahead and get this going. And oh, the elemental's still there? Currently, yes. Oh, no. Okay. But they are Blink. starting to fade away. But this is within okay. split seconds of it, so. Okay. Um... Let's go ahead and get the, I'm sorry, give me one second here. Astra, it is your turn. Okay. Um. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna depart immediately in the direction of my brother um i will not make it over there and that's okay um <laughs> a healing word casmir third level for 15. Healer, uh, the necklace of healer sacrifice for, um, let me see here, for 12 on Kydro, and I'm in starry form, correct? So the necklace of healer sacrifice would add to a target's healing. It can't be split. Oh. Can we put that on Casmir then? And then it, it would be added to who it would be since you add it, use it on Casmir. Or was it Casmir or Nazmir you, you healed? Casmir first. Casmir first. Okay, so Casmir. Okay, so then it would add the your hit died to that healing, which was how much? It was fifteen and twelve, so it'd okay. be twenty-seven. Okay, and then you have your chalice. Um, so uh, yeah, you, I should. Yeah. So you can target somebody else with that. I'm blind.
I can't find where it is to roll it. Let me just roll it here. That'll be 11, and I'm actually going to give that to Nazmir. Okay, so 27 to Kazmir, and then 11 to Nazmir. Uh, yeah, and I would just I would just like to hit and step and just be... Okay. I'm just going to stare at Aspen's body. All right, I will roll the death save for Kydro. Okay. So Kifli. Okay, here we go. Got to make a wisdom save first. Just managed to hold on to my senses. Kifli's eyes don't quite cloud over. Okay. Uh, just seeing his friend attacked. So Kifli is going to... He's going to run about 40 feet. gonna run it. Uh, sorry, first here. <clears throat> Take an attack on um, this elemental here. 25 to hit. The one marked red? Yeah. It is currently flying. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Uh, what about, are they all flying? No, just the one marked red. Because it, it knocked Casimir out and he fell to the ground. I got you. Thank you. Okay. In that case, uh, um, so I'll, he will run the full 40 feet to there. Uh, so it's a 25 to hit this guy. Okay. That will 11, hit. Po 11 points slashing magical, plus another 6 points lightning. Okay. 17 points for the first slash. He's going to just savage this thing as much as he can. Any effects from the fire? 20 to hit. Next one. Uh, you will take damage from the fire. Okay. I'm using all three of my attacks on this. Okay. I should have had that pulled up. Sure. Another 13, 13 points damage. Uh, 13 points, 12 magical slashing, one point lightning. Okay. For the second attack. Noted. And then for my bonus, bonus action, 23 to hit. That will also hit. You're going to take 1d10 points of damage for every attack you do. Okay. Five points magical slashing. Oh, sorry. 11 points magical slashing for the third hit with another three points lightning. Okay. And the entire time. <laughs> and he's just screaming, roaring, and anguish. That'll be 13 points of fire damage. 13 points total? Got total. It. Thank you. Okay, so concludes the turn. All right, so it's the next fire elemental's turn. It will just snuff itself out and disappear. As will the one you were just attacking. He killed it. <laughs> yeah. Close, close, but. <laughs> Not quite. Uh, Kazmir, it is now your turn. So uh, Cormac, it's not uh, your turn. Cormac, it's your turn. Uh, Kazmir's on deck. <laughs> okay. Um... Well, after seeing the other two just kind of go poof, Cormac's gonna... He, he, he knocks an arrow, is about to let it go, and then he just wants to see what happens because he's like, he doesn't want to have to waste an arrow because those things are a precious resource right now. So he's just going to do nothing for his turn, gonna, and that's the end of his you're turn. You're going to ready your action for what are you going to wait for specifically for? For you to. Oh, no. No, he's not even ready. Okay. He's just kind of. He's just kind of there now. Okay. If, if, it, if it helps you decide, Zul's got tons of arrows. Oh, well, too late now. Okay. It's fine. Casimir? Okay. Uh, so Casimir is going to kind of quickly rouse, uh, rise using half of his movement and seeing the threat, uh, 
not kind of realizing everything that's happening, um, he's going to kind of move next to Astra and sort of like uh, put out a wing out defensively. What's what's happening? And that's uh, he'll ready an attack uh, with his sword if if it comes closer. Okay. Uh, this one will also dissipate. It's on Nazmir's turn. All right, so I get back up and see that Aspen is down again and Kydro is down. And um, I'll run towards uh, Kydro as I kind of say behind me to Astra. Uh, you've got your brother. Um, I just tried to heal him a second ago. I'm sorry. Uh, let me see if I can get Kydro. I can't do both at the same time. And I will cast Cure Wounds for nine health. On Hydro? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. Anything else return, Nazmir? Um, did the Maestro disappear? He left, He's right? He's still there. He's still oh, there. he is. Mm. <clears throat> He's still there. Okay. Uh, He's floating in the air, right? Yeah. Yeah, I... Forgot about that guy. <laughs> I, I'm, at this point, I'm just seething <laughs> with her anger. I don't even know what to do, so I just kind of... I'm just kind of paralyzed there, just glare, just staring at him. What else do you want? Is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, Maestro is going to just be looking down at all of you guys with just the smuggest of smirks on his face. And then he puts his arms out and starts to glide back. It's almost as if a rift opens up in the space behind him, made a shadow and envelops him. And just for a moment, Astra, you feel a hand rest itself on your shoulder. And the smell of fresh flowers fill the air as a voice whispers into your ear. You feel the warmth of a breath. This was your fault. And with that all presence of the maestro is gone from the battlefield. And that will officially end initiative. Um is the is the fire that spread it up still in place or uh, no. When he when he disappeared, the wall of fire went away too. Okay. Okay. So we'll Gift out of his hybrid form, just shrink down into a human again. Uh, As, run to his friend. Just gonna collapse by Aston. Wait, do we do we have the cart with us? The cart was off. Mm -hmm. yeah, we protect. We protected. We, the I, I put it to the side in the beginning. <laughs> Focus, okay. Wait, what's what's <laughs> wrong? No, I'm only asking because Cormac was gonna say, "All right," like in kind of an obviously he's a little dazed because of everything that just happened it's like yeah we gotta we gotta get aspen in the cart and we gotta keep Astra, moving Astra, can you do something can you Oops. heal him can i feel for a pulse i mean i watched my brother get executed so i don't know let me let me so feel that one out his, he's still on fire um so you can douse <laughs> oh the flames God. and then use your medicine check to to check for a pulse okay can I have a medicine check, please? May I help you somehow? I help her. I just lift him. I got a uh, 14. 14? Mm -hmm. You go to reach for his neck. You do not feel a pulse, but it feels pliant. And then you realize 
that his body's already starting to his his this burnt form of his body is already starting to shrink and decay. No. Can I check under his hat? Where is Inkwell? So as the form of his body begins to shrink down, almost as if his body itself is melting into the earth, leaving behind clothes and gear, the hat is left, and there's a small amount of movement. As peering from underneath the brim of the hat is Inkwell. I just like to hug little Inkwell. You give me the mushroom. Uh, Astro, I'm sorry. I, th- I thought he was just unconscious. Uh, perhaps I should have tried to heal him first. This is. <laughs> She's just gonna start picking up his clothes. This is a. Oh no. This is real. This isn't happening. <laughs> Let's try. It is real. It is happening. Come. Come. I just hold her. She's gonna accept that. He is gone. It's just you now. Us. He's not. He's not gone. To figure it out. We will figure it out. Just have to. <laughs> oh no. She's just gonna kind of be there. <laughs> we can't stay. We cannot stay here. I look down at the body. What condition is it? Is this just it's melting gone. away? Is it gone? Just... Yeah, so just as rapidly as a, uh, a mushroom or any fungus could grow, the body quickly faded away, leaving only behind uh, the gear the hat. and his clothing. Pick up his hat. I give it to her. I need the hat. I need the the endless oh, water cool. supply thing. I need, I need all of his equipment. Yeah. That's all. Pick it all um, up. Yep. All right, yeah. we'll, we'll get some character Good. sheet merging for that. Mm. Yeah. Great. Go to the That's car. nice. Let me see. Sit down. And we will stop. But not here. Is the fire still raging around us at the moment? There's the still fire. smoke in the distance and the, the small glow of fire and the city in the distance as well. city is burning too. We are burning. <laughs> we must move. Where? We get closer to the city. We want to but... go closer. Now. No. What good are we? Treated us all like we were children's toys, playthings. So sorry. So feels hot rage inside him, and he closes his eyes, and he focuses on the brand of castigation that he left on the maestro, which will, so long as the maestro is on this plane, tell him exactly where he is, or at least he will know exactly the direction to where the maestro is. Is in the direction so what of the city. Feel? He is there. Still, he is there. So. We want to go forward and what we're going to have another example made. Who are we going to give up this time? We're going to let off. now we're spent, but I don't know. I mean, this is one of the most powerful nations in the world. What can we do now? We can't stop this one. Puppet master. We can help. The people who were going to help us are there. The the watchers. Isn't Archmage Amelia there? Can't she help us? Can't she smite him? Maybe. Maybe. 
We had no friends to help this time. Maybe they have friends. We don't know. We, we do not. Allies. We can fight this. We can fight this. We need to figure out how to get stronger. Zul staggers to his horse. That's right. Astra, in the cart. Oh. Ready. Is my horse alive? All of your horses should still be alive. Yeah. Okay. Because you guys got off them and got them out of the way in time. Yeah, but now there's a horse that doesn't have a rider. Hitch it to the cart. Yeah. One extra horsepower for the cart. I can have my Echo ride them, unless you... Speak to Look, his horse. Just to, just to guide them. Tell him that he's okay. <laughs> Tell your Aspen's horse he will be safe. Or we can set him free. No, I'm not here. Later. Somewhere safe. Nowhere safe. He does not have a herd. He would not be safe by himself. We will take him with us and let him be free at a city that isn't on fire. <laughs> um. I guess that's. Do you want to find this killer? Or do we win? I believe we keep moving. We okay. seek the help of the Archmage. <laughs> I have something I want to tell her. A couple things myself. Um, it is at this point lose. that there are three Jump. bolts of arcane energy that shoot up into the sky from the city, like three beacons of light. Okay. And with the night sky slowly starting to glow more golden from the rise of the sun, you notice that the clouds start to gather gray. And soon enough, it starts to rain. We ride like hell in that direction. March into death itself. Okay. Okay. So Today as you continue to ride over the next couple hours, it continues to begin to rain harder. The rain seems to be putting out the flames where the city was affected. As a uh, meteor storm affects like a small area and the fire seems to be contained as you get closer, there are no issues with the gates, but there is chaos. People running out of the city, people trying to get into the city. There's still smoke kind of clouding some of the streets as you break through the gates. You notice that where one part of the city where it was impacted by this this destructive spell, there is rubble collapse. I stay in the street wearing a cloak that is covered in dirt. So it is a small elvish girl screaming for her mother. And as you look down at the rubble, out from under it is a single hand. Is she, uh, is she alone? Uh, there are people just running around her, not <laughs> stopping. Zul stops, um, just gets off the horse. Yeah, Casimir stops the car. Goes for the rubble. Mm -hmm. Starts to lift yeah. it. Um, feels the pulse of the hand. Medicine check, please. I want to go over and try and uh, pick up the girl. 14. I'm just going to... There is no pulse. Hold it. <laughs> yeah. So Zol looks back at Nazmir, shakes his head. And I'll just uh, turn to the girl there and say, it's okay. You know, we'll we'll find your mom. Um, do you know somewhere safe that you can go? Holding we back, look... sob, she just shakes her head. Okay. She seems to be fairly young can't really speak at this point, like taller age, like few words. Um, 
and I'll kind of I'll kind of wipe her her cheeks a little and say listen it's gonna be all right it's a little scary right now but it's gonna be okay and I'll um I'll say we're gonna find we're gonna find a safe place where we can uh look for your mom and where we can figure out uh what's going on and I'll try and distract her with a little uh little things press the digitation um little magic tricks okay so you hold her as the cart moves on and you guys are reading to push your way through the car where are you heading in the city we'd be heading towards uh, where Amelia was the temple <laughs> where we at the feet? okay mm-hmm. so as you continue to head deeper into the city the uh damage seems to be more scattered but there's no sign of any active hostile situations whatever attack came here and was initialized by that spell is no longer present at this point it is simply the magar trying to regain order they're starting to clear out streets a guard stops you in which you show your letter from amelia and you're allowed into and now at this point the streets are fairly empty because they have cleared from the temple down starting um you quickly get up to the roads going up the the curved path to the temple yes yeah, so okay uh just a quick check in just as we are going through the city um uh on the matter of direction focusing on the brand of dire- the brand of castigation do i still feel it do i get a sense of direction from here it has faded <clears throat> okay okay do we do we leave the the child with the set the guard we speak to that seems like a better idea than us mm-hmm. taking her to the temple it's up to you, you do we how busy that? do they look they're pretty busy right at this point yes they are clearing the streets from temple down I'll just hold on to her for a minute. <laughs> I'm kidnapping and, for the side. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, and I'll talk to her a little bit. You said she may not be old enough to speak, but um, Some words, I'll try to mama. ask her things like, "What's your name?" or "How old are you?" kind of thing. So when you ask how old she is, she'll put up four. Four fingers. You're such a big girl. Okay. And yeah, just. I also want to try to uh, keep in mind as as well as I can the area of the city where we found her. Um, hopefully, she lives somewhere nearby that. <clears throat> For reference later. So at this point, um, as you get closer to, temple, to the temple, you now see more robed members of the Elvish Guard. You see um, members wearing just all white and silver robes, and others wearing robes trimmed with gold. Uh, Kazmir, you would recognize these to be uh, members of the Golden Order, those that Amelia is the Archmage of, and then also members of the White Order, um, those who are practitioners of in healing. Um, <laughs> They're at force. The and as you get to the temple, you're now able to see the, the the monastery that is built at the top of this. There are these massive thorny vines wrapped around it. They're going through the walls, out windows. Like they burst through the building? Yes. We really can't take this child with us in here. Why not? Of course we can. Um, Astra would like to fasten. She'd like to create um, a child, you know, to hold children on your back. Whatever that's called. She's okay. going to make that a child wrap like out, um, mm-hmm, out of Aspen's like coat or something. Okay. Um, Just put her back here. Don't fit in a bag of holding. At the right time. Oh, is that a character? Um, it's okay. 
Um, keep, her, keep her head out of it. Paper. Still not yeah. the right time. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> does Does Casimir know of any spell that would do something like this? We can have our column check. Okay. Sixteen. Okay. Sort of studying it from a distance, thinking about it. I'll give you time to consider your answer while you step away. I'm sorry. What are you analyzing? Uh, this. The spell. He's studying the giant vines that seem to be bursting out of this temple that we were in. Oh, I thought you were looking for a spell for the for the harness. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we call that uh, a skill, uh, uh, a spell of uh, baby holding. Perhaps do you outwardly express your wonder of this spell? Uh, well, he's he's kind of analyzing um, it from just you know you can see he's got like a vacant stare. You know, there's little like formulas so, in his head. <laughs> this is not a known <laughs> spell that you would be aware of. It definitely seems to be more Fey in origin, which you know fits the bill. But neither the maestro nor did the woman on the fire seem to possess this specialty of magic. This seems like something new. Could it have been a defensive spell? It's, I mean, it's, it doesn't quite look like it, but. Well, I suppose we'll find out. <laughs> Coming out of the building uh, with Amelia using his shoulders for support <sighs> is Trislin. Well, coughing and as they cough up, there's pollen coming up from their lungs. It appears that me going ahead was the right choice. Yes. Thank you. Did did you save her? She's hurt. There's something infecting her. I need a cleric. And then he'll ask if any of you are able to cure any kind of disease, anything like that. I have lesser restoration. Um, I don't know if that's... Yeah, you can heal. I suppose. As much as I regret to say it, um... Maybe it would have been better if you had stayed with us, but... I will help. He'll lay Amelia on the ground. You notice know, there's a little bit of like this purple ooze coming out of the corner of her mouth. Gross. Um, may I cast Lesser Restoration on her? Mm -hmm. Whatever it's excellent. Sure. Her Bam. breathing is very ragged, almost as if she's having an asthmatic attack. And as you lay your hands on her and this glow emanates from it, her breathing steadies. She's still unconscious, but stable. May I prepare as well something similar to a Malian tea to help with her respiratory system? Mm-hmm. Excellent. Take a minute to check for that. So. Okay. Well. I was on my way to the city and... It rained fire, and it was not my doing. And then no. there was this rumble in the ground and this cackling of this wicked woman, and these thorns just erupted from the building, opening these buds, releasing these pollen into the air. Many of the mages inside and the monks inside He's just going to shake his head. Another member of the coven. This, this is their attempt to remove the Archmage from the game board. Thanks to all of you, it seems. 
they failed. And we paid a heavy price for it. Hmm. Yes. One of our party is gone. You have my condolences. You may not believe it, but you do. So many died for what? They really want you dead, Archmage. They yeah. tried they tried to recruit us to do that. We had no interest. And I think that's maybe why we lost one of our group. There's a tent being set up a couple of streets down by the Magon. We get us there for the night. Hopefully Amelia can be awake in the next few hours. Let's hope that we were able to save her life now. I'm exhausted. Yeah. Would we do you know if if um I keep forgetting who it is. The the two people that we know is it is it Quintomo and the other another the ones that are in the group that watches that we met before. So for that order that you met, you have mm -hmm. Lord Minorialis, mm -hmm. Zaves Quintomo, and the designer. If I can get this. Xylus. Okay. Uh, do we know if any of them should be in the city? Uh, they told you that he does not have a home in this city. In this, okay. Otherwise, he would have brought you here initially. We need to find a way to contact them. Do none of the powerful magic users in the area have any sort of communication spell? I'm not sure if they're going to be investing any of their magics on something like that, especially because most of them likely aren't aware of our interactions with these people or what they do. Mm. We don't we don't need to keep them a secret from it's not from some of the people here right we can still I don't know. stay we, we need to I th despite the emergency I feel we could probably uh, find someone who, do, who could help us contact them it is important And they are supposed to be the ones that know the most, so it seems, about this coven. At this point, you guys will arrive to the <laughs> medical encampment that's kind of been set up. It's a collection of, like, it's just like a block that's been purposed for bringing people in to heal them. Um, the moment you walk into the camp, the members of the White Order will recognize Archmage Amelia and take her off your hands. Um, uh, Trislin will, who is the little girl? We found her on our way in. She's looking for her mother. Yeah. I'm going to kind of give him a, a look, you know, we, we're trying to help her find her mother. But kind of a look to to signify that she's gone. He's gonna kneel down and look at the girl. She's 
says she's four years old. That's me. There's no point in lying to you. Your mother is no longer of this world. But I will find a place for you. But for now, he's going to whistle and you, you notice that some of the mages in the area recognizing him from the insignia on his robes are keeping their distance. But the moment he signals for one of them to come over, um, he's going to tell them the situation and the mage will take the girl. She is one of Mars, one of this kingdom. We will take care for her. Do you know someone who could help me send an urgent message? Uh, ideally something faster than, than a messenger or a letter. Perhaps some magical means. I will try to look for a member of the Silver Order. They're the ones who practice a non-combat and reconnaissance magic. For now, and don't take this personally, but you all look like you've been through all the Dark Realms. A few again. of them, at least. Get some rest. I secured one room. That's best. And uh. hopefully the Archmage will be awake in the morning. Thank you. Okay. Before we all go to sleep, um, anybody that would care to join me, I um, have a special prayer for Aspen. I shall join in chant. Yeah. So, um, hopefully, is there by chance like a fireplace or something in this mm -hmm. room? Okay. <clears throat> so, I made this up during the, the week we had off. Um, I've often found some comfort from the goddess Celeste. She is the goddess of the hearth and family and has helped mine uh, through many ordeals and through the death of one of my sons. And that's when I learned this prayer. So I'll take a pouch uh, from my bag and pull out um, a little bit of ash and kind of sprinkle it in the fire along with uh, a bit of, of ration, and I say, um, ashes from home, food from my fire, wherever we roam, may we safely retire. By blood or by bond, we honor our family, return and safe travels, we pray for thee. Uh, and often it is customary if you have a, a piece of food to to put it in the fire and usually afterwards we uh, well we celebrate the life of the one we lost we if I know it may we're all exhausted but if you do have anything that you remember that you want to share, we can. The only thing I can think of is uh, 
Aspen was four years of age when I was born. I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna get him back, and he can tell all of his stories. Um, but the, the prayer was beautiful, Nasmir. Thank you. When I first met Aspen, I was more like an animal than a man, because that is how I lived for a long time. And then when I met these two pillbox, they treat me with kindness. They showed me that the world could be good. And that there was wisdom for me to find. If only I helped them. I owe everything to them. My life. And when Aspen told me that he was trying to fix his mistake, that he had done to his people, I knew he and I were almost the same. But I cannot fix my mistake. And now he cannot fix his, but maybe... Maybe I can fix it for him. Though, though it is important to help us process our feelings, we, we, we don't have to talk about him like he's gone forever. We have learned about incredible powers, incredible magics. Perhaps we can find um, something. Aspen is part of the cycle of life already. That's very clear. He is not Most. gone. He is... is he... His, his energies have joined... I would say he's part of the world you walk on now. That is how he always talked about dying. That he is always here anyway. Everyone who is dead. People live on in your heart and in your mind, even when they're gone. Most people don't get the gift of a second chance, if it's a gift at all. When I lost my son, um, he was killed by bandits, and there was no way we we could have afforded even looking for a second chance. We didn't even really know they existed. You know, there's always fables and rumors of, of heroes and such, but um, and it it was hard to it was hard to move past that, especially because he was young. But if if Aspen still has reason to fight, and I think he does because his sister is here. And if we can find a way, I will search everything I can. He is a noble spirit, and I hope it. it I hope it doesn't sound callous to Astra for me to say that he does deserve rest. But perhaps in my selfishness, I hope we can find him again. Yeah. 
I know that he is gone and he does not want to be pulled from the cycle. Just don't know how to do this without my brother. So. And I cannot do it alone. But. You are. You're not. You're not alone. No. As I said before, family is both blood, but it's also forged by bonds. You have all of us. I do. Thank you. You are like my sister, Esther. I will keep you safe. Yes. His soul does not belong here. It belongs at home. That's the change I would make. Demented world is not where you should rest. Zul just bows his head sadly at that because he knows that's a sad truth, too. I am going to retire early. Um, I will take early morning. Watch. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Sleep. Don't don't need to watch you. Just sleep. I have some star searching to do. <clears throat> but okay. Yeah. So as everybody rests in front of you, this will be a long rest. It'll go into the early morning, late afternoon. Um. You were told that you'll be notified when or if Archmage Amelia wakes from her recovery. So if you all want to take a long rest at this point, you can. Woo. And as you all close your eyes and drift off into sleep from the night that you had. Astra. There is a chime that rings in your ears and you open them to the familiar sight of the battlefield you were just on but as you open your eyes as if you're laying on the ground you do not see a fire elemental or the maestro towering over you you sit up and on the outside of the battlefield is a woman she has a flowing gown of silver and black her eyes covered with a cloth blindfold her hair white as snow and pure with black coloring on her lips it almost seems as if her form splits into duplicity shuddering for just a moment and as it comes back together she is now a young girl it shudders once more and when it comes back together she's an old crone and she continues in the cycle of girl to woman to crone as she gets closer to you. You open your mouth to ask, who are you? But no words emerge from your throat. She simply smiles, black wings spread out from her back, and she reaches a hand out, as if to help you up. You take her hand. I will. You reach out and notice that your sleeve is brown and green. And you look behind you and see yourself, Astra, screaming. And you look down and see that you are 
from the perspective of Aspen as your party members try to gather around you and heal you. The form just smiles in silence and walks you into the distance. The lights and fires of the battlefield fading behind you. And as you blink, you reopen your eyes and find yourself in an overgrown temple room. The sound of birds and wildlife can be heard on the outside and resting upon a stone table is a sealed glass container. A small collection of black spores hover in place, drifting to one side to the other, bouncing off the glass. And you look down your hands and see a notebook. Notes of studies from fungal investigations and that sort of subject. Your vision shifts to a third person perspective, showing Aspen doing research with this entity within this jar. And behind him, there's a slight shimmer in the space. As Aspen steps closer to, to the table, as if listening for what this entity in this jar is saying to them, the form in the background in the far corner of the room, stealthily hiding, shimmers into space. Emerging from beneath a cloak of invisible shape is a baton. The baton flicks three times and you watch as Aspen's body responds. His arm twitches, it spasms for just a moment. And what seems like an act of carelessness on Aspen's part, his arm knocks over the jar and it shatters onto the ground and spores are released into the air. There's a loud knock at the door as Astra's eyes open and it's bright daylight and all of you are woken up. Uh, stumble to the door. Open it. Yeah. It's Archmage Amelia. She has woken up and is requesting your presence right away. Okay. Oh, wait. First, where? At the healer's tent? In the main room, down below. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll turn back to the curb. I'm a buggy. Everyone. Let's go. That's right, you are okay? Uh, sorry. Bad dreams? No. She, she isn't even gonna answer you. She's just yeah. looking around the room. Paranoid. You can identify certain emotions, and that's an emotion. <laughs> Screech, paranoia. She's not trusting of the room she's in, the people that are around. Something wrong? Bad dreams. Okay. Maybe later you can tell me, maybe. Yes, perhaps not in front of. Okay. Others. So I, I suppose we adjourn down to see Amelia. Sitting in a um, wheelchair on a table, eating some simple cheese and a little bit of bread, is Archmage Amelia. She has a pale blue violet cover color around her lips. She looks awfully pale. She looks up at you all and smiles. I heard, or at least I was told by Tristan before he left this morning to report back to Eslanda Listina that you had part in my daring rescue. 
Minorly. Did you take your tea? I did. She kind of has, takes a deep breath in. You can just hear the wheeze as she does so. Please sit. Do you all take the seats around the table? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Astra will wait about a minute after everyone sits before she also sits. You Just staring me. at Amelia. I did not predict something along these lines would have happened so close to home. I managed along with a couple other members of my order to change the weather to counteract the fire before we succumbed to whatever took root in the monastery. What is it you know about this attack? I know a bounty is placed upon your head. What else? The same uh, individual who plays puppets with the bodies and the souls of individuals seeks your death. What else? The... Other members of my group have experienced different individuals coming to them, wishing for your death, wishing for the death of others involved in higher operating manners within your government. Is that what it is? Some kind of oven. Mm -hmm. I see. Really powerful. Control the narrative. Mm. Extremely and, powerful. And your unpredictable peace in the game of chess being played between two very powerful groups, neither of which knows which way you'll go or what you will do. She raises her hand shakily and like turns her hand over, revealing her palm. You watch as she focuses intently on it as she tries to summon something. It's just a little bit of magic aura, but it just dissipates. So it seems that whatever infected me, you might have spared me from my fate, but for now at least. I am unable to walk. I am unable to channel arcane power. Maybe soon you'll turn to stone. Did anyone else get infected? I was the only one who made it out with Tristlin. Is Tristan here? He said he left to report. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Right. Somewhat. They Somewhat. Are, yeah. are clearly beyond us currently. How, how do we face this? How do we get stronger? We have our target and our goal. We continue to follow the steps laid out ahead of us. And we can't focus on defeating something that can, you know, steal the magic and prowess of one of the most powerful arcane users in the world. Yet. Mm. Not yet. I do have 
one thing to give you all. She'll kind of nod her head to the side as one of the uh, lesser known mages are off to side holding a chest and they walk over and they set the chest down unlatch it and it opens she brings out three scrolls of parchment each one of these scrolls is a deed to a property that I own one is in the capital of Cargren. another one in Belenos and the last one is in Ferris style. You may have one for the reward of saving my life. And you may change it, do whatever you wish. Just to clarify, you said, um, Belenos, Cargrin, Aristyle, and Cargrin. Gotcha. From what I understand, Cargrin may not be that safe. Right? At least not right now. You do not have to make a decision now. But the choice is yours. So I'll hand you all three scrolls. Simply sign the one you wish to have, and everything else will be returned to me. Are there guards there? Is it current? Are they all currently kept intact? They all are very good homes. They will find quite to your liking. Uh, the one of Ferrisau is a manor built within the city on the side of the Golden Tower, so on the eastern side of the city. Uh, the one in Cargrin is a smaller home. It's not, it can still fit all of you with your own rooms, and it has more uh, access to mines and workshops. Mm. While Bellinos is a keep in the Hawthorne Grove just beyond the city with its own farmland and resources. It sits Same on more. the Queen Marcella River. Same as more Astra speed. If it's bigger, I, I would... As long as you all are okay, I would send my family there since there's still... Since they went into hiding last day contacted them they still need a safe place sounds like you've kind of made your decision already then mm, not Kagren too dangerous with the uh, giants now Element. not very style Belonos mm -hmm. maybe the keep Okay. We can decide. Thank you, Amelia. The thanks are mine to give. And whatever task I held you to prior to this, I release you from. You owe me nothing. For your release, nothing. I have the feeling, I must admit, though, that you know more than you're letting on about this situation. I mean, when do we not know more than we're letting on? So I will ask you for more of a favor than a command. Find the root of this evil and rip it out of the earth. Mm. 
the killed our one of ours. We think we intend to do that anyway. Good. We must see the Sphinx in Ashtalmut after this. We came here to uh, uh, to cargo to uh, tell you we had finished that first time. We, we need uh, help maybe to find this Sphinx. Or at least, is, is there any faster way to travel there, perhaps? So you guys were offered by Lord Mor- Monorialis to be teleported there when you returned to Ferris style. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. we've got that covered. Yeah, no, yeah more, about, right. more about locating it. <laughs> but how do we find okay. it? There is... It is said that the Sphinx rules the city from its Great Pyramid. At the center of the city. But has not been seen in quite some time and merely disciples speak for it. I personally has not I have not been further east than the Ba West Soul Pass, so there's not much knowledge I could give you on the subject. If you have a letter of recommendation, maybe it can help us um, speak to this Sphinx. Even if they don't know you there, you are an Archmage. I will have one drafted for you and I'll have it ready within a few hours. Ah, Skiander, I say. Thank you. Oh. I do apologize. I know you have lost much in the last day. I wish I could offer you more information on how to save him or rather bring him back. But the most powerful cleric I know is in the Fey Wind Guild. But only they can bring someone back within 10 minutes of death. Too long. No. No. And there's no body. Only a memory. He is gone. Uh, we cannot stay for long. We must go. Sh- yes. Do you mind, as we must wait, may I study? I find myself in great need of moving away from my martial focus. You may speak to the mages around here and see what they have. Unfortunately, this is not well suited currently for studying, but we offer you assistance for everything. Yes, I feel like if I knew more, I might have been able to do more. Focusing on joining the the Magor, and I should have focused on joining the Golden Order when I was serving. Hindsight is near perfect. Good job, John. Well, as I said, you are free to do what you need to do over the next couple hours. I draft a letter and I won't keep you too long, I hope. Ah. Okay. Um, if, uh, if we are, if, if that is it for the meeting, I think so will stand. And, um, Nazmir, maybe you can help. We have to... We must sell the cargo. Always money. 
Well, we can't take it with us. No. It all seems... silly. No, but... I can take care of it. Or help. Okay, good, good. Give me something to punch, says Kydra. <laughs> he punches Amelia. <laughs> no, no. She's a... She's, she's, she's crippled weak. right now. <laughs> That's so mean. Um, okay, so... Yeah. Usually I put people in wheelchairs. Make three P <laughs> make three persuasion checks. I mean, kinda, I kinda, Cormac kind of technically did. Okay. Persuasion. You know, Great, wants to go hydra, so you're going to need a wheelchair. Right. Is it from all the punching? Probably from all the punching. All the Ooh, punching. Look That's at all that. you do. Uh, 17, 18, <laughs> 4. So we're given the condition of the city right now. It's not really that distorted. It was more chaos the night before, um, but only a small portion of the city was burned or crumbled, that sort of thing. Um, you managed to sell your wares for 1,023 gold. Okay. Not a large profit margin, but a fair profit margin, given the circumstance. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, his heart's not really in it. <laughs> I think there's more pressing matters going on at hand, so it's understandable. Should we... Uh, I suppose while we're at it, should we sell our cart and horses? I don't after want to this. sell my horse. No, we must go back to Ferris Town after this. So How much did you get? About a thousand gold, a little more. Okay. So then we can find some way to keep them safe. Mm -hmm. yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to go giggle out loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Casper's not with you guys. He's off talking to mages, trying to learn some more magic stuff. <laughs> uh, make an intelligence check, please. <laughs> Sure. And our contract just, uh, followed up. All right, let's do that. Uh, just flat old intelligence. Let's roll digital dice today. See how that goes. Woo! Well, the intelligence is good. Arcana. Good old nineteen. All right, yeah. So, um, let's see here. Six. What's the highest level spell that you can cast right now? Uh, it's not very good. <laughs> What's the highest level spell you can cast right now? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, he is level two. So second level spells is what you have right now? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you are taught how to cast low-key object. Arcane lock. Write these down. Yes, you should be writing these down. Yeah, okay. The one and, time I don't have my pen and paper. <laughs> and. Witch bolt. Sorry, which bolt? Mm -hmm. uh, this bolt or that bolt? <laughs> oh. I will take one of these spells oh, away. You know, yeah. Just for that, I'm not going to give you the fifth level spell I was going to give you, but you know, whatever. Uh, hey. Uh, you know, that helps. <laughs> this, this... And it was a good one. Was it actually? I'm sure. Right. No, you weren't. No, no. <laughs> you said three spells that I do. Yeah. I I have no shame, but we already know that. I'm very tempted to teach every wizard how to cast Kind of Cold, my favorite spell. One time I made a, <laughs> an icicle out of a wolf with that spell. Oh, uh, yeah, you Poor did. Poor Dee that's not how ice carving contests work. No, no, it's not. So, a few hours pass, unless you guys sell your wares, you get your spells. Last call to do anything in very soon before you're giving your letter recommendation. Uh, 
you say that, and I hate to... I just doing push-ups. I hate yeah, to... Do it, do it. Add a shopping spree. Would any... Just to summarize it, would anybody have something that could help uh, Nazmir fly? Like, some kind of boots? I forget. There's probably an item for that. That was painfully... Uh, obvious in this last fight, so that would be on his mind. He just needs a gun. Zul offers you a crossbow bolt. A crossbow? Mm -hmm. you I just use can't use it quite as effectively. Uh, hmm. Actually, can I? Let me see. Oh, is this a carpet shop? Hey, look. <laughs> wow, this carpet is moving on its own. Uh, look. Except it's yeah, not. As he's waving it. Oh, <laughs> he's look, doing look, it. Moving. He can fly also, look. Yeah, yeah he throws uh, it. <laughs> oh, no, he's killing someone. Okay, not that carpet. Oh, not that. <laughs> <laughs> this carpet is cursed. I can show you the... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Underworld. <laughs> I guess I could use a crossbow with my echo. Uh, yeah, you are not able to find anything that you're describing. Okay. Cool. I, you know. I I offer him a light crossbow with twenty crossbow bolts. Is this? I just pull him out of the bag. Keep. Extra? You don't need it? Yeah, yeah, extra. Yeah, take. take. Wait a second. That looks familiar. <sighs> You'd never believe this. I have one mm. of those. Oh, okay. No, Hold on. Let me... Yep, here it is in the bottom of my bag. Yeah. Ah. <clears throat> you, and you don't need it? No, I'm going to no, have this nope. now. Oh, and oh, reminder, oh, in just mind. a few days, your gear should be repaired. Yeah, I'll put it back in. Yep. Um. Hmm. Okay. Um, um, and just for information purposes, I would ask blacksmiths how long it would take to, uh, um, inlay silver on a sword. Uh, a couple days. Okay. That doesn't make it magical, right? That just makes works for the purposes of like, yeah, which is for pretty. like undead it's stuff. It's particularly effective against lycanthropes and undead. That too. Okay. Okay, he's, a, he's gonna have to figure and out vampires, a way to... which are which, undead. Yeah, <laughs> which would be vampires. one thing that might help, but he's gonna have to find a way to make his sword magic or something. Okay, oh. um, that's it for me. A couple of days, we'll see what we've got. <laughs> so you guys all head back towards Verisal. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, you're on the road. What yep. do you guys would like to do? Yep. On the road again. On the road. Um, okay, cool. So uh, I would say uh, Zol, um, at any opportunity, just during the evening time, he's going to start trying to work on making some gunpowder. Based on just what he's been exposed to, he knows how it works. He'd like to try to use the document kit for that. Okay. Yep. So you guys travel for the next couple hours and eventually you are on the road that shares the path of where you battled and as you approach the farm the scorch marks from the night before are still there the farmhouse has burnt completely to the ground and is still smoldering and you notice on the roadside there are rings of mushrooms sprouting from the ground. Are they commonly recognizable mushrooms or more? Make a nature check. Obscure ones. Nature. We stop for a moment there. Yeah. Uh, ten. The, they're recognizable, but. You don't know the exact names for them, but these were ones that you all can saw growing off of Aspen. And this is in fact where his body was. 
I've been down. I'm gonna pick one of the mushrooms. I'm gonna take one as well. I'll let everyone take their own piece before I take the rest of them. Oh, I'm going to the, the rest circle. of the fairy ring. Okay. Yep. And I'm also, you know what? I'm taking a vial from his pack and I'm packing that thing with dirt. Okay. All that dirt in the inner circle, pack that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, what a nice little homage to Aspen. Let's pick it up. <laughs> yeah. Let's do that because you know what? That's yeah. the last remnant I have. So Take let me it. have something. Yeah. Take his body. Be and, it, and the mushrooms grow back immediately. Yeah. Oh, amazing. And you all turn to stone. Oh. Infinite Dang. mushroom hack. Let's <laughs> <laughs> open a restaurant. Hopefully they're at a book. <laughs> you should try eating one and see what happens. That can be, can be part of you forever. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. But seriously, do we... I mean, this is a lot. I understand picking up a dead soldier's gear, but like, it's it, you know, it's sort of like a bouquet of flowers. It was. It's just mushrooms instead. I can create an entire race of these mushrooms using yeah, the spores. Kind of thinking of spreading them wherever we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smart. Sorry. The the pestilence that's spreading through your home. I hope it spreads through this world too. Let's let's put a pin in that and remember that everything we're doing is trying to fix. I'll fix his... everything. Aspen wanted to undo can help. what he started, save your family. Is that not your goal? You have no idea what happened. You have no idea what started the pestilence that plagues my family. It was not Aspen, and it was not his fault, and he did not deserve to die. No. Agreed. That's true. But we can do some good. What do you mean it was not... He saw, no. he told me it was his no. mistake. What do you mean? Are we, just just a reminder, we're standing in the middle of yesterday's battleground mm -hmm. talking about this? Okay. Yeah. The dream, the bad dream that I spoke of earlier today, <clears throat> revealed some truths to me about the exact moment that our lives completely changed. It was not his fault. His, his physical body was interfered with, I don't know by who, but he didn't really knock it over, you know? No. He, but he didn't he, spread it. it. It wasn't him. Someone else? Yes, almost like and... a gust of wind, but like a spirit. Something, someone. I'm trying to remember. Did someone control Aspen? Um... A little bit. Just a nudge, enough the to maestro. make an impact. Maestro nice. seems to have some history with you two. Can I think back on the dream and try to like compare the image of the maestro to the image of... Make a wisdom try. Okay. Dreams are hard to recall sometimes. Really, they are. 20, dirty 20. Dirty 20? Mm -hmm. Uh, it seems like a strong correlation between the baton that was in the dream versus the baton that the maestro uses.
Yes. His wand weapon. But... So he, he is behind, he is why your people have the infection. I suppose so. And so also the coven, the people he, the witches, the people he working, he's working for. They yeah, are also for their influence. Involved. Yeah. Yeah. This world did not kill your brother. They did. Then we will kill them. Yeah. Agreed. I think all of us are agreed on that. <laughs> May I... While we ride, may we discuss something? Mm -hmm. The future events that we're going to go through. We're going to return to the city of Ferrisdale, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to be teleported to the desert, right? Mm -hmm. To meet with the Sphinx, who's going to give us a riddle that we must solve for the thinning and the culmination so that we may go to the to the fae is am i understanding this correctly am i on the same page as everyone here because i have an idea i know we all remember the tower of allura we may not have time in our schedule now to go there but I've put some thought into it. Not a lot, but a day and a half worth. If we can... If we can get to the Tower of Allura, and we can get to the bottom, to the Wish... Kaidro, you're hearing me, right? You, you're with me, right? I just bumped. And, yeah. <laughs> can get to the bottom and get the Wish. And we can use that to change everything. Asteroids like you and I are on the same wavelength. It's like we're telekinesic. <laughs> yes. For real, okay, that plan was fire. <laughs> Just pure fire. I agree. And what we know is that tower is difficult. We struggled on the first floor. Granted, we faced challenges from later levels, but if we want to reach the bottom, we'll go far beyond that difficulty. We were weaker then, and we'll be stronger when we enter if we wait after True. these few weeks. We, we need just... not fight. Perhaps we sneak. On the Tower of Allura. Parties. It could be just a trap for the greedy. Maybe. But it's also hope. False hope is poison. Mm. No hope is poison. We wouldn't know until we got there. If we truly found a better plan, then by all means. But if there's any truth, it seems worth investigating. Maybe another time. Of course, think on it. If, yeah. if this coven could get to the end of the Tower of Allura, they could have that wish. They don't go there. 
and we can't best one of them. So if we can't best one of them and they can't make it to the end, what chance do we have? Do you think they wouldn't want that? Do you think they wouldn't be pushing so hard that they'd be throwing the lives of regular citizens against this? Perhaps, perhaps they're sending the orcs and the goblins. You think they are working with Kaistan and Flaskmaster? They, they're controlling every dark thing that's happening here. That's very clear. Pulling the strings behind the scenes. Puppets, everyone. The maestro isn't even the leader, but is still making everyone go whichever way they wish. Mm. You can't make a better world if you're dead. Kyder's like, here's what I want to know, right? What about the dragon? We get the dragon to help us. The one that wants to destroy the... You... I mean, you, you just need that dragon. Um, we can move on. That's the gray dragon, isn't it? The moon dragon. Yeah. Lunar dragon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Just another oh, thing that... Okay. Very clever okay. today. I would. Yeah. Yeah. It's another thing that wants to end the world. That's okay. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, let's work with what we know and expand on the things we don't. Astra's just going to start reading Aspen's journal for the rest of the ride. Sorry, DM. No, you're good. You're good. Um, if there's something that you like to do over the next few days, we can go ahead and have you all return to fair style. If you you'd like. like. Alchemy. Yeah. Uh, Asmira we'll will uh, will try sparring at night with Zilkifli a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay, ah, uh, much on this. Okay, but quicker. You are, yeah. mm, you're yeah. clumsy. Trying to get faster. Clumsy, try this. You, <sighs> you're using your muscles too much. You're slow. <sighs> because you don't have enough muscles. Huh? I, I, I'm using my muscles too slow, and I'm slow because I don't have enough muscles. Yeah, you rely on the thing that you are not good at. So maybe you use something that you are good with, huh? I say this because I am your friend. Also because I have eyes. Yeah, Kessler's just like covered in, <laughs> covered in scratches. He's been on the ground a couple times because Lil Kipley keeps like sweeping uh -huh. him off his feet. Every once in a while, Kaidro gets up and punches him in the back of the head. Sweeping him <laughs> off come. his feet. Lower, lower. Yeah. First we had yeah. Kymac, oh. now this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. um, Man, Alchemy's, every Alchemy's skill check was... Alchemy's skill check was 20, by the way. Uh... Yeah, nice. so you managed to make some gun gun That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. 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 In between beating up Kazmir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, and I'll offer to, to do some sparring with um, Kaidro. He's not here to RP, All right. so we'll just be like, We're yeah, in. sure. <laughs> and, yeah. Let's, let's fucking go. go. I just know that he would want to fight, too, if he saw other yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, it is. I want to. Nazmir just wake up with black eight. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Zul presents the gunpowder to Cormac. Yeah, Cormac, look. You see this? Mm hmm. It's for ammunition. It's like yeah, ammunition yeah. for you. Huh? Well, it's, it's just half of the equation, but sure. Okay. Don't be a dick. He made it for you. <laughs> he called it ammunition. It's not ammunition. It's a propellant. There is a difference. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Propellant. There you go. Yeah. So, now hold it up. Uh, you don't want. I can use. Uh, I can make uh, something else. But if mm. you want, I can... put it Wait. in a bag with like a little string and set it on fire and throw it. 
actually would come in handy. So yeah, mm -hmm. Formic's gonna tank it. I feel like. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. So in uh, my my uh, country, when oh, we no. uh, give something to someone, oh, no. <laughs> we say um, uh, "terimakase." That oh. is th thank you. So I don't know if you say thank you here, but we say thank you <laughs> when we do something for someone. I I said much obliged. Yeah, it's the I same don't know what fucking thing. It's it's oh. it's a fancy thank you. Okay. Ah. Okay. Sama sama. Yeah, that's the Sylvan uh, version of uh, thank you. Same, same. Wait, yeah, hmm. same. Yeah. Yeah. They say, Kazmir says, thank you in Infernal, and it sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like he's clearing his throat at somebody. <laughs> <That's so good. laughs> yeah. And it's not yeah, truly thank you. It's it's a close approximation. Like yeah, it's I like that's good enough. It, it, there's there's the word thank you for it, but it's like thank you for the the flesh I will rend from your your hide. <laughs> there we go. Um, I I will say that there is a moment of levity. Uh, laughter shakes Zul's shoulders, and then he looks over at where Astra's sitting, and clocks the empty space next to her, and it's like a sudden cloud descends over him again. And he just walks away for a little while. And looks up at the moon for a bit. And after all That's these me. activities yep. and things that you have done, notes you have taken, things you've acknowledged, soon enough you find yourself exiting the Learnwood Forest and before the Solstice Gates, of fair style once more and that's where we're gonna take our mid session break so everybody don't forget that uh we're gonna take a 15 20 minutes here to refresh ourselves refill our waters <laughs> use the restroom get a snack whatever we gotta do uh and, and you know during during the session don't forget that we have a, this really really cool fundraiser going on for the trevor project we have raised 15 dollars so far of our 1000 dollars goal until the end of March. Oh, and we also have really cool news. So if you are sitting in this stream right now and you're like, hmm, what what's this god that was just mentioned? Or what I want to know more about this city or the world in general, because this is session 34 and I'm just now joining the campaign or something along those lines. Go follow us on our TikTok channel at TikTok Prestige GC. It matches our Twitch name, where you'll be seeing videos from myself and all these wonderful players around me. Uh, as we discuss more in-depth lore about our world and PGC in general. Uh, so there's already one up there about the with the map and saying what each area of the map is for. Um, and we're going to be delving a little bit more into the history of those various areas as well, as this is an original homebrewed world by me with his own pantheon and everything. So a lot of stuff to explore here. And uh, if you're just now joining us, I saw our, our viewership go up as I was making that little spiel, uh, <laughs> Noah. Uh, feel free to check out all of our content, which we have online, so it will exist forever for as long as there is an internet for it to exist on. Um, uh, on the podcast network, we're on there. Uh, anywhere where you get your podcasts, uh, be it Zune or Vine or um, uh, 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 Soulseek, uh, LimeWire, uh, any of those places. Napster. Can't forget Napster. Napster. Yeah, yeah. My journal. Um, so live journal. So all those places, all, all the places where you get your podcasts, um, we are on there uh, in audio version. You can also find all of our previous sessions over on YouTube. Just look for Prestige Encounters. Prestige Encounters. You can press exclamation mark YouTube. I think I don't know if that's a command. It might it be. It is a command. It I programmed it myself. I'll do it. Oh my god, let's do it. There oh, it is. There it is. Yeah, that's our link. Go check us out. We'll post our stuff there too. Uh, and by the way, if you're checking us out in the future, hello. Oh my um, god. Hello future come, people. Hello future us. Come see us live sometime. I, we're on Discord. I, I, I mean we're on we're on we're on Twitch. Proceed. We're sorry about that uh, TPK in three sessions that we caused. Yeah. It's the snail's fault. It was a giant snail. Anyway. Oh my oh, god. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> we also got the snail and he caught us in our <laughs> Anyway, everybody, we will be back here momentarily in the next uh, 15, 20 minutes. And we have some wonderful videos for you to watch to let you know what's going on in PGC. In the meantime. Until then, see ya in a little bit. Bye. And, and welcome back, everyone. <laughs> oh, my God.
Kaiju is here. Yeah, is he? Because he's not on the stream. No. Oh. oh. It's Kaiju, it's time that we all told you that this is actually not a D&D session, but an, an intervention. intervention. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. We've all written letters. <laughs> yeah. Make oh wait, mess. I accidentally put Aspen back on the stream, my bad. Yeah, I, <gasps> unfortunately, Kaiju has been a little punch drunk lately. <laughs> When the when the party is trying to end initiative, perhaps we shouldn't try to continue that initiative. But they're just anyway. so punchable. Kaiser didn't catch that memo. He was in and, punch mode. Anyway, uh, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are in the middle of a session here. They ever just arrived back at Fair Style. Um, just a quick reminder that if you know you have a couple extra dollars to throw around, the Trevor Project fundraiser is going on between now and uh, the end of June with a goal of thousand dollars to raise. That is our main focus right now. And you also can take part in our sponsorship with uh, Puzzles and Survival with a collaboration of Resident Evil. Fun game. Good times. Mm -hmm. Good Very times good. by all. Anyway, uh, y'all, <laughs> y'all are all y'all arriving into Fair Style during the early afternoon of the seventh day. Uh, you know that at this point of the day, there is in fact a order that you need to pick up, uh, for your new gear. Hey, seventh yeah. day. What is there only 24 hours remaining or something? Seventh day out of the two weeks that we have. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. the opening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before the We're going to go pick up our refurbished gear. Anyway. Yeah. So wait a second. The phone rings. There's a girl on the TV. Anyway. <laughs> I got it. So, uh, we go to the blacksmith. It's to the magic Let's maker. Mm. To the person. I hope my armor is not pink. Hi, uh, our order. We are here. Yes, uh, it is ready. So, Craig and turns around and goes, I'm sorry, but who are of you again? Oh no 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 no! We don't Wait, do we have a receipt here? I'm just fucking with you. Okay. Um, <laughs> what, 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 what? Remind you me? What, what do I need to get out of my stores for you? Uh, well, Kyber order stuff repaired. Mechanical <laughs> arms. <laughs> yes. Um. Yes, the. The set of four mechanical arms attached to my two arms. So that Come I can down, have six <laughs> so the I'll weapon for uh, Cormac, Cormac, you had a revolver, uh, correct? I had a revolver and the the rifle. Yep, so he will give you those. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> use some of my uh use some of my uh Dwarven ingenuity to perfect your flawed designs, but I think this will work just fine. And then Kaja had the unmatched though. power of the sun. Human design, so. <laughs> Cormac's just gonna sit there and just play around with it for a little bit and give him a spin and everything. Okay, Kadro, your turn. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, obviously. Hmm. What? Uh, uh, after for me, uh, my uh, my Chris, you said it has um, demon iron something. Yeah, so uh, very important to me. It's actually uh, iron that is made with infusion of demon blood. It's interesting. Huh? It's not yeah. one of those infernal focuses that you hear about, but. I imagine if you stab something celestial like something interesting might happen. Good to know. Um hmm. it is ready? It is, and we'll take it out. Whoa. It looks brand new. I do some stabs. Dropping a few stances. Just right hmm. there in the middle of the shop. Hmm. There's dummies out back if you want to take a whack at it. You've huh? been loitering hey, for hey. 
few days. No, now. he's my friend. His name is Comac. Don't don't <laughs> don't say. <laughs> Thank you for that. He's just don't be he's cruel. Just too, he's just too happy going. <laughs> he's not even paying he's, attention. He's making yeah. all sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What else um, did you guys order? The repair on Kazmir's armor was also done. Yeah. Yeah. Really wish I hadn't been kind of out of it, I guess you could say, when we did this. Womp womp. Uh, I, I tried to compel you to get your sword fixed, but uh womp womp. You can try to fix it yourself, I suppose. Um you have a new sword for my friend here. He's now near. He's looking for something to help him fly. Us dwarves don't really fly. We're more inclined to stay on the ground. Or a magical weapon. We've faced an awful uh, lot of creatures that are resistant to regular attacks. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe try a tall ladder. I got one of those. Tall ladder. Oh, do you have uh, uh where, where is an enchanter here? I mean, in fairy style, not many are in fair style as we don't hold the gray order here. And most enchanters and you know, leg are gonna be in the gray order. And next week, you'd probably be better off going to. Do, 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 do. The hold on, I have it. I have it right here. The Runic Knight Guild in Mysteria. If you're looking for enchanted mm. weapons or magical items, uh, I also know that the dwarves of Cardigan are well versed in making magical infused body art. Hmm. Mm. Uh, of course, there's plenty of magical in uh, Rivermore as well, so you may seek mm. that kingdom. But anybody who is an enchanter here and Yundobeleg is going to be in the service of the Solstice King. Mm. Long, you know, long may his radiance shine upon our empire. Hmm. Kasmir's putting the armor on, seeing how it fits. Takes 10 minutes. Expertly made. Yeah. It's now pink. No. <laughs> he claps twice. It just turns pink. Yeah. Casimir <laughs> claps three times. It's now invisible. No. It's just, Pop on. <laughs> the emperor has no clothes. Yeah. Um, how are you at? Uh, if there's something odd about a weapon, would you be able to determine it by looking at it? I mean, maybe. I don't know. You have I mean, an interesting weapon. I mean, uh, it's a good weapon. Uh, more. He pulls out the obsidian sword. Oh yeah, I mean, it, just look at it. It's cursed. Yeah, it has a tendency <laughs> to stab me when I hit things. I mean, don't hit things with it then. Yes, but I hit harder when it hurts me. So it's kind of. Fun. Why do I refuse to tell me that as well? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is awkward. Yeah, Casmir, you're embarrassing him. He yeah, doesn't yeah. want to know. You know <laughs> so I mean, it, sorry, it, it, the joke just popped in my head. I had to say it. I had to say it. <laughs> what happens between yeah. you and your wife? We don't. We like to talk about it with the rest of the world. We're not a shy <laughs> couple. Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> clank, clank. As you leave the shop, uh, you know, you're sitting there in the little alcove of the shop door and stuff, and there are a collection of bubbles that begin to float towards you. Uh, like simple bu bubbles, like from a wand, like a bubble wand. Uh, uh, I want to fight one. them. <laughs> yeah, put one with that Chris. It's like Chris just stabs through one of the bubbles. Your Chris dissolves. It cries in agony. You look uh, across the, your the, the core oh. area of this marketplace where uh, Craig and Chop is, and you see that there is a 
young girl about the age of 13 very big large uh lens glasses she has robes that are way too long she is holding a wand and the wand is like a, a literal like magical wand is where these bubbles are coming from and she's like oh oh i got your attention i've been working on that spell for weeks it's fun yeah um oh, hi i'm marianne um i am the apprentice of lord Minorialis, and i was told to get you once you came out of the shop i pushed casimir perhaps a little too hard into her <laughs> okay do you need like a dex check or not, not into her in, i mean like at her towards her uh, let's yeah, do we want to roll this off like, so we can get a natural one not between... too not too hard i'm not trying to like hurt her i just want him to engage i'm trying to set them up well no. she's 13 so hopefully not hey, oh, <laughs> oh, oh okay hey now yeah yeah so it's like i <clears throat> cast weighs a lot right now with this armor on <laughs> Make a strength check versus a make an athletics versus acrobatics, please. Already regretting this. Right. Yeah. Acrobatics for Casimir or athletics for Casimir? Uh, you get acrobatics since you're the one opposing it. Okay. That's a three. Oh, no. Oh, seven. Eight. It's a weak push. <laughs> it's a weak push, <laughs> and but you still stumble because you're not adjusted to this weight of the armor quite yet. So you someone you yeah. trip over and you fall. Oh. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Um, here, let me help you. She waves her wand and she just, she like taps and it turn, the, the wand turns into a bouquet of flowers. That wasn't right. Yes, the it's pushing himself up. You need to turn. He, he kind of does a, a little bit of a smoother motion <laughs> like this. Leviosa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lord Minorialis tells me that I'm probably the worst apprentice he's ever seen in his life. Yeah, Negative reinforcement. Oh, that's. Can I put that to the test, DM? What? 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 We're trying to do? <laughs> oh, let me try this. I am going to cast a spell on her while she's giving us this very sad explanation. Um. I would like to cast confusion on her. Oh no. What's the save? <laughs> um, it's a wisdom save of fifteen. Okay, 15, okay ask her. And what happens if she fails? She'll have to roll a D ten to determine her behavior. Mm-hmm. So she rolled a three. We're really um, treating this thirteen year old real so nice. So she's not going to move or take any actions this turn. So after you show her this <clears throat> movement, she just like looks at you. Hello? Oh my Hi. god, that was weird. Uh, do you normally do that? No I, I mean, told I told me that might be why I get somebody who's odd stares sometimes. Were you awake? Like, could you see me? Like, uh, I had a soldier who fell asleep all the time and called it. <laughs> Narcolepsy, something like that. He just, just randomly, you know, like done. Anyways, Cause... um, I'm sorry to to cut you off your story, but Lord Minorialis was very concise about what he told me to do. We're supposed to take Partherion to the door, and he'll let us in. Let's do oh. that. Yeah, excellent. We need to talk to him anyway. Okay, so. I seem to have misplaced Partherion. Is that a... a That's his familiar. Animal? It's his fairy. It's a little fairy it dragon. A, uh, bubble? Wait. Oh, okay. I, I um, can try to locate him. I have uh, a spell for that. Uh, do you have something it uh, smells like uh, Partherion? No. Mm, a rag, a cloth, anything. He doesn't need a hanky. He's a fairy dragon. 
They, so they never sneeze? Not that I've noticed. Where, where does he, he sits? Oh. Well, well, typically a shoulder, but... Soul's gonna oh. sniff the air for strange fairy dragon smell. Make a perception check. It'll be a straight roll okay. because... Oh, okay. Sure you, thing. You don't have a strong oh. scent to base your smell off of. Okay, that's a 10. A 10. Not quite getting a smell part there. It, I'm... Let me just try to locate one of his, his his collar. Just give me a moment, okay? She takes out her wand. Uh, since it's turned back into a wand from a bouquet. What's this whole world? I'm gonna take a step back. <laughs> gonna cast fireball. She's what? gonna <laughs> basically trace a rune in the air and say an incantation. She goes, okay, so he is that... And as she says that, the fountain erupts, the water within the fountain erupts and completely knocks over a fruit stall, a clothing stall, and then this little musician who's playing a lute next to the fountain and just washes out the whole courtyard. Oh. Is that? I oh, nudge Casimir. So just, you should learn this spell. This was, that, should learn. was that control water? Amy? Anyway, let's go. I, we should just go. I, I, I yeah. think I know where the door is. We can just go. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's honestly, you know, for him telling you, you're a terrible apprentice. You have quite. Imp I mean, your 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 control is not great, but your ability the to effect. just wow, like at this it's point, fascinating. Some, some Magor heading over towards you guys. <laughs> yeah, we're going over there. there. She's like, let's go. And you guys dart off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're moving. Yeah. He's just sort of like, try, he's like giving her so, like an emotional boost as best as he can. <laughs> yeah, she's she's trying. She's kind of like tripping over her own robes. And she's she's a very poor, clumsy girl. Hmm. You know, um, like on her spell book, there's a couple of like horse stickers. One's yeah. got, one's like, one's pink like with to wings. I use Restore Balance on her. It's supposed to, yeah, if, it's supposed to balance things out again if she's, like, suffering from disadvantage on... She, she's just a clumsy girl. <laughs> she's, she's trying her best. Probably only worth for a moment. Horse stickers on her spell book. <laughs> <laughs> like she's trying her best. Like Restore moments. balance. Nazareth's <laughs> very presence just fixes her for a moment, and she'll never know that peace and stability ever, ever again. again. She'll chase it. It was like the real moment. Oh. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so she, she, she's going to take you through the area, memory. and uh, eventually you find that, that shack door where you exited from Lord Menorial's home. But the difference here is, is that the candle inside the lantern is currently lit. Hmm. And the, the door will open and Partherion will be like sitting on the coat rack looking down at you guys. I mean, Unless I forgot yeah. him. You, you didn't bring him at all. Well, you know, it's OK. I, I He's safe. I'm a bad apprentice. You're you're still young. You'll get much better. I mean, look how powerful you are now, right? You're casting spells that most most children, kids your age, wouldn't even imagine be able to do. At this rate, I'll never turn my mom and back into a human from a flower pot. I made her into. <laughs> Wait, so you turned your mother into a flower? Ah, there you all are. I was wondering if you got lost in the city. Yeah, we're, we're, we, your, your marvelous apprentice, uh, with uh, some masterful use of magic, was able to lead us here. Warm now, yeah. in a very, in a, like, like a lounging robe with like almost like a fur boa down going down the lines, big furred sleeves, thing nineteen eighties glamour, <laughs> uh, coming down the staircase, taking his time, as he does so. I was worried. I uh, but I'm glad that Marianne is n not as much as a fool as I suspect her to be in this moment of time. Um, your attitude doesn't seem to match the situation, sir. Situation? Are you, 
Do you know what happened today in Vel Velrisen? Ah, I think it's best if we uh, sit down for some tea and discuss that. Please, into my, my sitting room. Okay. Is Marianne coming with us? She is not. She leaves okay. the room. So long, Marianne. Some uh, ghostly Look. servants will be carrying in trays <clears throat> of like, you know, finger food, cookies, that sort of thing. As you all sit down. So... You had a direct run in with the coven, from what I can tell. I tried to scry on you, Zokifli, but it seems like you had something to ward off my spell. Mm hmm. Is that true? Oh, we uh, um, spy on very much, very often, but you can scry also, my friends. Oh, only me you are looking for. I mean, you in particular in that moment, so I just gave up. Oh, yeah. First my grandfather, then me. Ah, sorry. No, bad luck. Next time, try my friends. Anyway, I do have um, something I need to give all of you before we continue on with the conversation. And he's going to... And some... Unseen servants are going to carry in a two cases, uh, almost like briefcases, and they're going to come over and like open them up. And there are um, six amulets, all with a closed eye, etched into it. It seems that you are easy to find to those that you do not want to find you. Yes, I had much. six ordered and brought to me by Xylus, but it appears that there's one less of you than there was prior to. Yes, the Aspen. It was a result of that encounter. Hmm. Perhaps with these amulets, it will be a little bit harder for them to find you, and hopefully tragedy will not strike again. Please. So he's going to hand all of you uh, amulet of proof against detection. Location of detection, I think is what it's called. You guys know what they are. Mm -hmm. um, he's just say, I guess you could keep the extra one. How gracious. So, um, there's a few things I wanted to discuss with you. First and foremost, it appears that a number of events around the continent have been connected, as you do know. There are the aggravated attacks on Kargren with the frost giants from the Frotrust Forest to the north. The battlefront in the Great Margot Plains has lessened recently due to various... It seems there's some sort of stalemate between the two and resulted in a sort of ceasefire apparently there was an assassination attempt on one of the members of the black order that failed miserably also the leader of our organization has taken an interest in meeting you but i'm afraid that she is not quite ready to do so as your time constraints do not allow such things but you will be meeting her soon enough i would hope she knows where we are going. Well, not from long once you all put on those amulets and become familiar with them. Mm, who is this, uh, your friend? What is her not name? Not ready to relinquish that information quite yet, as if you were to get captured and tortured, it's very possible you would be inclined to release such information, as our organization is very... Mm, okay. Important okay. to keep anonymous. Uh, how, how, when she, uh, uh, when we see her, when we meet her, how will we know that it is uh, your friend? Oh, trust me, yeah, we will know. She... Mm. Okay. But 
I do have some good news. I know a little bit more about the coven. What? Okay. For one, typically a coven is made of three hags. Fey creatures of dark twisted magic. And we originally thought that the leader of this coven was a blood hag. But... That is not the case. These are in fact three archfey that exist from the fey wilds that formed a sort of coven and are u- using the wild magics of the fey realm to their own goals. You see, not all fey creatures are of just mischief and chaos. These ones are dark and sinister. You're already familiar with Arano Deus, also known as the Maestro. Yes, very familiar. He made a mockery of all of us. I know. Arano Deus. Yes, Archfey. Archfey Yes. And you did have a chance to meet the leader as well. The one in flames. That would be Lady Wildfire. and Her name is Atagora. How did you just sneeze at what that was that her name? Atagora. A T T A G O R A. Anagor. She, she is, is the literal personification of a wildfire that struck down from a meteor, a falling star into a forest. <sighs> that would explain what she did to Vildry soon. Hmm. <clears throat> might also be a reason why she took such a keen interest in your party as you do have two druids two guardians of nature and what does a wildfire do destroy so it only makes sense to take out the protectors she can speak in the fire and it's perhaps worth that Moving for you and avoid campfires and the like, but it's less likely that she would find you due to your new amulets. So the risk can be taken where you want to take it. If we are going to the bay, wild, where do these uh, creatures? Where do they live? Where where are they? They are. They have a place. The Feywilds is a confusing and twisting realm that's constantly changing. It is difficult for me to answer these questions as I am not able to quite see there all the time. And many other rulers of that realm have disappeared from my communication once I was once familiar with. I have not been able to reach. Any more from the coven that you know? You said, um, I know this, uh, Atagora, and who else? She and calls Kuchan. herself Auntie Bobinish. Um, she must have been the one who attacked Amelia directly. Are you aware the Archmage was stripped of her power? Mm. I am. And it's quite unfortunate that one of my students lost their magical ability, but I am hopeful that she will regain her power. I must try to not let all the bad news get me down, as I have a duty to fulfill 
and helping you achieve your goals that will mutually benefit my organization. He's gonna take out a very long pipe with a cigarette sticking on the end. Like flick his thumb, he's gonna light it. Blow smoke right into Cormac's face. He 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 shoots guns, he's used to it, <laughs> so he's just So we are ready. We can go. Ah, oh, yes. Um, there's one last thing I wanted to give you, but I did not want to instill false hope. What is it? From his sleeve, he's going to protrude a very old piece of paper that is has been either decayed around the edges or burnt it's just i found this in my studies and i might be able to help you with your card situation regarding your deceased friend but it is not something that you can undertake right now. Give it to me. She's gonna try to snatch it. Make a slight hand check. She's not even gonna like listen really to the whole forewarning. Make a slight hand check. Mm-hmm. And if you, you have to be the twelve. Yeah, that's a that oh, that's a ten. Hold on though. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me find my happy little D6. Check that out. That's a four. So roll again. Okay, three. Let's add three to that. <laughs> okay, so that's a 13. Okay. Yoink. <laughs> so, what languages do you speak? Great question. I speak a lot of languages. I speak common, druidic, elvish, giant, and primordial. Okay, so this is in giant. <laughs> and what you see is a depiction of a glowing golden rod in a pedestal. And in giant, it says the the front first part of it is torn off, but the last the only word that's still there underneath the depiction of the uh, rod is the word resurrection. It is said that a powerful magic item of divine power was put into the mountains north of the Frotrus forest. The journey would be very long and dangerous, but you might be able to find the object that could very potentially bring your brother back to this world. This is great. Thank you. You say we're not ready to undertake this yet. As with everything, there are catches, as there is a very powerful creature capable of casting very powerful magic that presides over that area. So, suicide mission is what you're suggesting at this point. Mm. If you were to go now, you would, one, waste your opportunity to enter into the Feywilds at the Solstice, and that's that. Um, or, and you would certainly die. Or you could wait and be patient and hopefully come up with a damn good reason for the overseers of souls to allow him to re-enter back into this world. The power of love is not going to cut it. Love is a curious thing. But you're saying we need to have a more compelling reason. Aspen has a task to undertake. 
His divine birthright is to lead our family. No one else can undertake that task. Hmm. Not even you? It's not my job. Well, let's save your people first. Now, I did some scouting in Ashtomot. The city seems to be having a rough time. There are a number of famine, drought, a number of creatures eating the little crops that they could try to grow. The gem mines in the mountains to the north are completely overrun with creatures and they haven't been able to find any gems as of late. The ones that they do find crumble in their hands. And the Sphinx is nowhere to be seen. Also, oh, no. we, we, we know our cameras are off right now. That's fine. We'll fix them in just a second. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Oh them. my god. Nasmir's god. <laughs> <laughs> Master of rules. There are a number of so-called alkalites that speak for the Sphinx, but no one has been granted an audience in some months. You have a task set up before you, and only a week to accomplish it. So we best be on our way. Indeed. Mm, we would need help to get there. I can definitely get you into the city using my residence that I have there. Mm. So, um, you'll take care of our horses. I wasn't planning on it. Can you teleport them with us? Uh, I'll have Marianne do it. Uh, mm. yeah. I don't know about that. She's very good with animals. Mm. She's had a lot of practice, a lot of errors to learn from. She'll be fine, I promise. Mm. I can say, we seem to be abandoning horses all across the world now, so. Uh. Mm. But those creatures are not going to be allowed inside my home. They will literally get their hoof marks all over my nice polished wood floors. And then I'm not going to allow them to poop on it either. Let's just use press the digitation, clean it up. I mean, it's just magic. It doesn't fix everything. Well, I know the smell will still be there, but for the psychological trauma, which 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 is more disturbing I, I'll to you? I know that it was there. Did you know <laughs> that those animals can hear your heartbeat up to four feet away? I don't try to get within four feet of a horse think. to begin with. They know your intentions. I'm allergic. Be fearful. Do you want to go to the desert city or not? I am doing a yes. lot to yes, help yes. you all. Yeah, yeah. Are you little... all ready? Yes. And does anyone have any shopping to do? A little diversion? No, we're ready to go. Good. Anyway. Hydro. We will see you again. And... I did actually have an idea, right? I'm... So I'm thinking, I right? A message sent. Like it's like a bear trap, but I just straight up attach it Whoa, to my Wow, what hand. a great idea! Okay, <laughs> tune the door, everybody. <laughs> Have a wonderful journey in the city. And he's what? gonna open the door, <clears throat> and just a wave of heat hits all of you. All right. Oh. And you're pushed I was, out. Sorry, I was I was muted for some of that. I was gonna try and ask him to send a message for my family to go to that fort in Bellinos. Sure. I'll just say that happened. Easy enough. Okay, thanks. Uh, and... What does that? What, Chloe? What would you consider a camel in terms of challenge writing? Uh, I can find out. I would because... consider the same as a horse. Mm-hmm, that's what I was thinking. If so... 
I think we know the current transformation for this this heat wave. Well, if I may describe the city first. Oh, oh yes. Please. Please. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you guys are pushed out the door into a. It's an eighth. Very by the way. dry uh, environment. There is no air. Uh, the, I mean, there is air, but there's no there's moisture no air. Anymore. Your lips immediately start to be get, get trapped, and it's very warm. You went from like spring weather where there are it gets cold at night and warm during the day to just ninety plus, very dry heat. Yes. Oh, it's a dry heat. It's fine. Anybody from Arizona? Uh, I'll tell you. <laughs> the streets have a number of random, like small piles of sand from it drifting in. There are some things overhanging. There are also the uh, tapestries, kind of covering the walkway of this alley where you were just pushed out of. Um, and it's very quiet for me in the middle of the day in a city that's said to be bustling with traders and uh trade in general um it's quiet but you are in an alleyway what would you all like to do well since i'm not going camel mode yet i guess um I'd like to peek around the corner for that because I won't fit in the alleyway as soon as it was small. Yeah. So I'd like to peek around the corner and see what's going on. See if there are any people, see if there are any shops. Okay. So make a perception check. A 16. 16, so you're kind of peeking in the corner and there is a area that you're looking at where there seems to be some sort of dried out pool. There's only about a puddle left in the center of what was this like stone lined, almost fountain type thing. There's nothing coming out of it. There's just a little bit of water left and what you see are people trying to take clay pots and scoop up what they can. They are beautifully dressed in uh, robes and garments that's made of this like light material there um, or gives enough air but also shields them from the sun as well and you also see a very diverse group of people uh, there are Leonins which are these lion humanoids there are a number of tabaxi mm -hmm. as well and there's also several people that are uh, gifts which are human hippo, hippos uh, hippo people hippo people um yeah. uh, as well as a mixture of dwarves due to the gem mines and uh aarakocras as well there's a lot more animal like races here okay let me say so carefully you'll fit in here if you're in your other form he doesn't even look offended because he's actually feeling pretty good here just as um i'd uh, like to secure inkwell and approach the people with the flask or whatever of endless water the canteen okay so you open up the thing of endless water and you, are you filling up the fountain excuse me no i'm going to talk to them pardon you me you have this this one uh you walk up to the back of a tabaxi the, their back is turned towards you and as you say excuse me they turn around Oh, I know you. You were on the ship that I was uh, once a chef on some time ago. Which which ship? Yes, it, 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 I remember you. Yeah, it's, it's Cookie. You remember me? Yeah. Yeah, your okay. your captain sold us <gasps> out. Yeah. Do you need water? Are you thirsty? No, no, no. Cookie was uh, on our ship, not on the pirate ship. Cookie. That's right. Yes. Well, it was a pirate. I yes, converted they dropped me off here. Yeah, I was once a professional killer, technically. So, you know, we all have a did you say water? I could really use some. I see that. I have uh, this. I'll just need your container. At this point, you hear a shot. What? Water. She has water. And you, it kind of like starts to echo throughout the crowd. Water, water, water. And, and they start to swarm you. 
Oh, okay. Um, okay, let's put a pause on that. Hold on. <laughs> Zol, uh, Zol stands right, right in front of him, and he just starts bellowing at Leonin for them to clear a space. Oh, it's make an intimidation like check. <laughs> Alright. Um, may I use my strength modifier for this, or am I going with my charisma modifier? Strength. We allow both cool. at this table. Okay, thank you. Hot damn. Just wanted to check. Uh, that's a seven. They like stop for a moment and they look at each other. It's like more of us than there are of him. And they start I'm going to enhance that by five. Um, they're slightly more intimidated, but they're still going to push for as the de sure. desperation then. for water is great. What are y'all doing? Can you pour that into the fountain? We need to kind of direct them away. I'm going to hit this step and I'm going to try to run like around the crowd. Make a stealth check with advantage. Break it yeah, in the air. <laughs> like it rains. She's gonna. Dr. Zoidboard. <laughs> that's, that's my highest. That's with advantage? Yeah. And um, oh my god, I got a one if I even added to it. No. So, <laughs> she goes invisible, but the moment you go invisible, you notice people look down and see your footprints in the sand. Mm. And they start to grab you before you yeah. even. Casimir's like, gonna this point, fire a fireball like, over, over their and over their heads. Make an intimidation check. Intimidation, yes. Mm. Sure. Astro, your robe does get torn at this point. Because they're kind of flying at you. Despite that, somehow the magic is not very intimidating because it's a six. You guys are losing control of the situation as people are now yeah. fighting yeah. over this. Okay. I am okay. now ripping yeah. my Dunkolok off my well arm. And shifting into wear tiger form, I'm growing a couple of feet and starting to like push through the crowd. Full wear tiger mode, looking for Astra. Make a strength check. Okay. While I'm being clawed at, is there someone that looks a little? I mean, they all probably look a little, you know, dehydrated. Um, is there anyone that looks a little like? Evil that I can make out that I can target. Well, your perception check with this range, make you're being out with someone evil. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not looking for anything. <laughs> yeah, I got a 15 as my lowest, so I'm hoping someone fits the mark. Someone frail looking, someone yeah, evil like looking. Looking old. through the crowd, there's no one here that like looks evil. Just every looks desperate. And what did you get, so carefully for your strength check? 14 on the strength check. 14. Okay, so you manage to push through the crowd <laughs> and you find Astra at the center of it. What are you doing? Uh, I'm uh, clearing a space like with my body, just trying to just mm -hmm. put my body between them and her, and scooping her up. Okay, so you pick her I up. Can. Yeah, yeah. Trying, trying to get her. Um, okay, so I have about 55 feet of movement. I'm gonna try to rush her through the crowd to a just a clear space. I want to try to help make room with myself like and my echo. Okay, yeah. so I need a strength check with advantage. Okay. Mm hmm. 19, sir. 19. Yeah, so as you start to push the crowd, you like push people over. They're starting to swarm. They're starting to follow you. They're like, please, we're just so thirsty. Um, as you continue to push through it all. Okay. What are you guys doing? Are you running from the crowd? I'm going to target someone. That's true. Some old person. <laughs> and I'm going to okay. cast old Moonbeam at third level you're gonna kill somebody <laughs> and i'm gonna incinerate them at 18 damage in front of everyone i'm gonna yell at them i'm gonna say stop hold on what's wrong with you hold on hold on yeah nuke Pause. him nuke him mm -hmm. what is the save <laughs> for that good save. question ref ref please <laughs> con 15 con 15 yeah and how much damage was it Hold on. 18, she said. Yeah. This guy just incinerates into dust. Astra is pissed. Make Ooh. an intimidation check with advantage, please. Of use charisma and strength. Welcome to this new city, murder. And also, <laughs> neutral evil, Mitch? 14. 14? Mm -hmm. Those are the advantage? Is that with your addition, too? Yep. And that's it for me. On also, that. given the circumstance, yeah, the crowd just stops and they start screaming and they are now scattering away from you. 
Oh dear. That was very effective, Astro. Thank you. I. The old man that you. Kinda... The old man that you incinerated was none other than Cookie himself. No. Rest in peace. No. <laughs> Are you serious? He just randomly incinerated. No. He was an old man. He was frail. Oh man. You killed the it one person. The anger you. stage, you guys. You must understand the anger stage. Um, I mean, yeah, but. <laughs> Astra is gonna go to the fail tip um... and just start pouring water in. After all that, <sighs> you give them the water, anyways. <laughs> That was the goal. That was what I wanted to do the whole time. They made it really difficult. They did. Blood was spilt on this day. It was vaporized. Astra Cookie was a companion. Hmm. Cookie gave you food. Also, we just murdered somebody in this town we just walked into. In broad daylight. I could have been murdered. Slowly shifting out of where Tiger Port. So we should probably move on quickly. At least they have water now. Yes, that'll make up for the indiscriminate killing. <laughs> You're one to talk, Casimir. I know, but mine are usually bad people. We don't know what Cookie did in his life. We know that Cookie was a bad person, but bad people deserve a second chance, right? No? I mean... Oh my god. Not that I condone it, but... They did make it very difficult. Let's... let's go. Can I loot? Is there... I mean, is there anything to oh. loot? <laughs> no, he's just gone? Okay. Just a dirty, dirty spatula. Yeah. <laughs> a rusty spoon. <laughs> and a part of what might have been the tastiest biscuit you've ever had, but it's scorched. Can we see the Sphinx from here? The Sphinx has not been seen. So now that the is uh, a clear, pyramid in there the is a massive pyramid that kind of like looms over the rest of the yeah. city this is no sermon no guards anywhere kind of a lawless place perhaps this city has fallen into chaos at those point customers you're like looking around you hear this you look over and you just see this locust crawling up wood. Oh, so is it normal size or is it big? It's a big one. But not like giants, like as big as the palm of your hand. Yeah. Um. And then another one. Uh oh. Are they close to each other? I'm scared and then another to see one. They smell blood. And soon you hear a dull hum as a cloud of locusts burst over the side of the building and start to swarm all of you guys. We need and to go inside. We're gonna chase. We're gonna start a chase. Whoa. I just, I, you know, I'm just gonna go like cookie. Come on. So, uh, they all start to swarm you. I need everybody to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Ooh, wee. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. wee. That's a 19. 20. Uh, natural one. Uh, That's one natural one for the board. Got a nine. Five. <sighs> okay. There are thousands of locusts that have burst into this courtyard Next everybody tell me frogs are gonna fall from the sky anyone who got less than a 15 uh has failed your check mm -hmm. what losers wow, I'm just kidding. uh but i'm not kidding about you failing though so so you all are going to take If you failed 41 points of piercing damage, 
Wow. So, 41. I have a question. 41 points oh. of piercing damage. I have a question. What's what's the question? So, um, half as much while successful I, save. While I wasn't here, did we like take any rest? To, yes. like, yeah, way long rest. Yeah. 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 Long it's okay. been multiple days, so, actually. So, 21 for those of us who passed? Yes. And then how much damage? If you got less than a 15, you 41. If you got okay. more, 15 or more, 20. Okay. Got it. Oh. So these locusts find their ways into the, all the nooks and crannies of your armor. They are literally biting down and tearing chunks of flesh off as <clears throat> they are swarming all of you. Some of you manage to like dodge a lot of them, throw them off, take a cloak and throw it off of you to distract them as they're now devouring the fabric. These are ravenous and some would say almost demonic locusts as they are just tearing at you and you're bleeding. Um, so we're to start who would like to take the first action, try to help the party. I would. Who is to my left and my right? Uh, I would say it's kind of chaotic. You can't quite tell, but what, what, what are you doing to start getting the party going away from these locusts or um, stopping the locusts in general? Sure. So I'm going to reach out to my sides and can't, they're going to cast enhance ability. Um, I'm going to say that to my sides would be Nazmir and Zulkifli. That makes no sense to me. Yeah. Okay. They were the and, ones trying to clear all the way for you, so that makes sense. Mm -hmm. With that, I'm going to use... I'm going to use Bear's Endurance, uh, which gives them advantage on constitution checks and allows them 2d6 temporary hit points. Um, Ooh, thank you. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they want to roll that separate or if I should roll it for them. 2d6 plus, sorry? Uh, temporary hit points? 2d6? 2d6 in temporary uh, hit points. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and roll that 2d6 and then we'll, we'll take it. Gotcha. And that's 6 HP, temporary HP for both of y'all. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it. Uh, okay, so what what is the next person doing to... Kazmir. Kazmir is going to fire a second level burning hands into the swarm behind them, trying to, oh, yeah. uh, okay. you know, push them back. So it's like full flamethrower hands, like, hmm. Okay, go ahead and make an Arcana check. Arcana check, yes. As all of these are necessarily checks and not nece more hits. Does that make sense? Yeah, mm -hmm. 15. 15? Yeah, so the this pillars of flame just shoot out and burn a huge chunk of the swarm that's pursuing you, giving you a little space. I'll say that's going to be a success for the chase. All right, who's next? Um, I want... Uh, okay, I want to try to distract them with prestidigitation to create a scent of blood somewhere else. Okay, Away go ahead this. and make an arcana check for that as you're using the Lever. spell. And I will do a oh. wisdom save against it. Out of 14. They outsmart you and they are managing to locate. You have a lot more blood coming from you guys. A lot of you are really hurt as okay. they, the swarm is not like this long tube snake like shape as they're kind of like pursuing each other. And they just like burst and they actually knock over a collection of crates in a stand and completely devour in seconds as they're just going past uh, chasing okay. after all of you. Okay, so Kifli is already bleeding. He's actually gonna, um, as a bonus action, cut himself a little bit with his Chris, uh, using his Crimson Right to try to draw them over a little bit, uh, separate the swarm. And then what he's gonna do is try to, um, uh, try to separate them a little bit. He's going to uh, just, jump up onto like an upper portion if he can find a part uh, like a higher ground he's going to try to do that and lead them off a little bit and then try to rejoin the party for this i'll have yeah. you do a dexterity check dexterity check okay uh do i have my acrobatics or athletics to yeah, that? acrobatics cool 16 16 so you, there is one of these uh stalls that has these wooden posts that you just clamber on top of jump on one of these stone buildings and it's very like mesa styled housing like very uh prism square rectangular 
uh, and you run across the top leaving trails of blood deliberately as the locusts are now kind of splitting off and chasing towards you and then you just give them the old uh, bamboozle and you rejoin yep. the party helping your party move <laughs> along um, I need another check please anybody what are you guys doing um, I'll do it okay what are you doing well I don't know. <laughs> Can you find somewhere safe for us? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm be like scouring around, seeing if I can, you know, see anywhere we can duck into to get out of the way of these locusts. Perception check, please. Okay. That's a 22. 22. Um, as you are running for it, you notice that there is a house up ahead that seems to be a man where the doors can like just swing open and shut in the wind. Uh, they do have shutters. But that might be a good place. And as this is happening, like this this guy runs out into the street, sees what's happening, and you just watch as the locusts swarm him, and within seconds he's stripped down to a skeleton. Piranha bugs. Uh, oh man. So are you guys gonna run towards the house? Yeah, we're right. Yeah. Yeah. All together, yeah. For Quentin, so, all right. So you run into the house. There's a few shutters open. I need uh four people to make a strength check. Yeah. Okay, cool. I can do that. I need four strength checks, please. Uh, Ooh, I'll do that was a net one, but I'm going to use my inspiration that uh, Boone gave me and <laughs> re-roll that to a 17, I, sir. I did, I did badly. All right, I did so, not. So, wrong button. I need one no. more. <laughs> not Thanks great you, strength Boone. checks. You guys shut the doors. You shut the shutters. They push back on you as there are tons of these um like is, tons is there is there a back room to this house <laughs> and they managed uh, uh quite a few that managed to push in mm-hmm. any deck saves from everybody again deck saves. All, right. all right i'm sorry after the f- first Fire. wave Fire. Fire. <laughs> okay nat 20. holy nine. shit I two nat- oh shit two nat 20s i got two nat 20s casimir's going do? down this time for yeah. sure <laughs> I need, I just need one from Astra. I need, a, I need a deck save from Astra. Are we at Astra. disadvantage? Are we at disadvantage? Uh, it's, a straight, it's a straight roll. Straight roll. Um, dirty 20. Dirty 20. Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and roll this damage. If you roll 15 or higher, it's going to be halved. All right. If you have evasion, you get, you, you know, you know how that works. Oh, not as bad this time. So that is going to be 12, 16, 38 points of uh, piercing damage. Casimir is down. Casimir goes down. Cormac is barely holding on. Uh, that would be Healers. half. So, oh, you go down regardless. So six. Healers are down. Yeah, oh, boy. No. We've been here before. No, 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 no. So, you guys, after they bur- this, this wave bursts and you guys close everything, and they're just like biting you as you're closing it. And it's it's bad. So we have Astra down. We have uh, Kazmir down. How's uh, Nazmir and Kydra looking? Uh, pretty hurt. Are you guys, is anybody else down though? Nope. I don't no, think so. No. So after a few moments, this is like this, like the shutters are shaking, the door's shaking, but they're holding. Uh, within the first few seconds, what is everybody doing as a reaction to Kazmir and Astra? I'm me, feeding a potion of healing. Oh, go on. I've got cure wounds. Let me get Ash. Uh, we got Asmir. You got Nas- Astra. I feed Astra a potion of healing. Okay. So go ahead and go for that. Both of those. Seven health. Eight health for Astra. All right, so Casimir gets seven back. Astra gets eight. Yeah, and from there, um, I'm gonna be a, a, if if we've got the place sealed off and we just have locusts in the room, uh, my next priority is to kill locusts that are coming at us. Like they're big enough that I can hit them. I yeah, think. go to make uh, a couple attacks for me. Cool. Is yeah. anybody else helping deal with the locusts? Yep. Uh, sure. Are they, they are they in like a concentrated room? They're swarming. It's uh, 26 to hit with the first hit okay. with nine, point, 9 points piercing and 2 points fire. 
Okay, I'll say that that's actually going to do take care Great. of half of them. So I need does, uh, does take eleven to hit twenty two to hit with a chromatic nah. orb. Okay, and for how much damage? Fourteen thunder damage. Fourteen thunder damage. That'll take care of the rest of them. Oh, great! Awesome. <laughs> Cormac just comes out and swings at nothing. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> that's why. That's why it's hit. That's why it missed. It makes sense because there's nothing there to hit. So, as you know, your two allies are, you know, getting back up from being unconscious. They have. They're still bleeding a little bit. Chunks of flesh mm -hmm. are missing. You guys hear a sound of a cup fall over behind you and see that there is a small mother and child huddled in a corner. Oh, you okay? You are safe for now. We're closing the windows. We're fine. It is a um, Leonin mother and son. Sorry for the intrusion. Does this happen often? It's... One moment, um, and she's gonna go get a collection of cloth and rags and start tearing at like the curtains and start offering to you guys to start wrapping yourselves up. Ah, thank you. What's happening in this city? <laughs> it happened in the last couple months. The mines ran dry. Locusts started to eat our crop. And when there's no more crop to eat, they started to eat us. They don't come at any particular time. They just random. Our oasis ran dry. Uh, perhaps I'm wrong, but I don't think locusts are normally that large. Right? No. Where's your, your, your sphinx in all of this? Your rulers? We haven't seen him in... since it all started. So, one can presume Is... they're connected. Has anyone sought them out. Repeat that, I'm sorry. Has anyone sought him out? The disciples will not let us. Do they usually exclude you like that? No. Is something wrong? Is is uh, God angry with you, or you have a curse? This it all happened when a new priest came named Nada Cat. Nada Cat. Not not a cat, not a cat. He's not a cat. <laughs> he's not. He's, he's actually a tabaxi. But he, <laughs> not a cat. Uh, not a cat is a cat. <laughs> I hate all of you. Anyway, <sighs> and then they came. Hmm. You said about a month ago? A couple months ago. Oh. And the so Sphinx... Go ahead. I say, did the Sphinx disappear around the same time that this not a cat appeared? We just haven't been able to see him. Um, we were just told that many of these events around the world are connected. Maybe another one. Do you That's... know where the priest came from? He just showed up and quickly rose. 
Um, I, you're welcome to rest here, but unfortunately, I, I don't have any food to offer. Oh, uh, we have here. Yeah. Um, I reach into my bag and I bring out some rations that I've got. got ten days of. So you pull out your rations. you pull out your rations and you notice that they are covered in mold. What? No, this was f fresh before. Anyway. Oh no. So food. Um this is dried rations. These should be good for some time. What about my water skin? I'm gonna try to drink from it? Yeah. Go ahead. Smell it first. Nope, he already said he's drinking. Sand from it. comes out, by the way. <laughs> oh I didn't put that in there. Are you sure? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I so, pulled it before we left. So, the answer to this is we need to pray this new priest a murder. I, I visit. Uh, we're going to visit. It certainly sounds like trouble. Yes. Uh, one that is better removed. Mm -hmm. is Perhaps. It, um, the rot. Uh, sand, uh, water disappearing. This is everywhere. Where is your food? Does anyone have food? You've just been eating the molded bread. What to roam us out? Astra, your water, it, it is still water, yes? Yes. Endless. And perhaps <laughs> I could <clears throat> prepare good berry, but it would take a bit for me to culminate enough to feed everyone um can you just, at least give this, them something just them for now yes. for everyone else we will find uh, uh, the problem and we will stop this if we would have to be careful too about giving them food based on how they reacted to the water well now they know I doubt they'll try that again Oh, Cookie. I think if we if we can fix what's going on here, then they we won't need, be as desperate. We need to find the Sphinx. I suspect that to find the Sphinx, we have to fix this problem. Maybe Sounds we find the Sphinx, that is when we find out why it is gone. Maybe that will help fix the problem. Mm. 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 I'm going to turn back to the, the woman. Is there any sort of pattern to these, these locusts? Do they just appear at any time or just during the day? Are they out at night? They come during the day, but what comes at night is much worse. What comes? Dark spirits. Cloaked in shadow. Never showing their faces. They take at random. They take the people? If you're not hide well enough. Then we will need to be careful tonight. If they come here, we will defend you. But tomorrow, we are going to need to find out what is the cause of all of this. I will listen to at the window just for the swarm, just to. Make a perception check. Sure. May I do so with advantage, given my keen senses? Yes. Hearing and smell. Thank you. 19. 19. So, as you all sit there and deliberate what 
action to take next and the sound of locusts slowly fades in the distance what happens next Ooh. as a story for another time oh wow Oh man. And that will conclude session 34 of Prestige Encounters, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to our session tonight. Um, you may have noticed, but there is no new character for Jeremiah this session. But next session, who knows? Uh, we who will know? see everybody next week here at twitch.tv slash prestige GC for session 35 of Prestige Encounters campaign two. Uh, and with nothing else to say, I'm gonna pass it on to uh Chloe, who plays Astra. In this campaign yes so crazy emotional session today i've been waiting for this session for you know like two weeks <laughs> obviously um but the death of aspen will not be forgotten for the rest of the campaign and his memory shall be honored um still i thought that the emotional camaraderie of the group was fantastic I thought that we all did really well with each other and playing off of each other and sharing our own experiences. I had a really great time. I'm excited for next session. I'm going to see what happens. going to see what's happening to Astra and her mental state. Hopefully she prevails. We'll see if she prevails. And um, yeah, who knows? So gosh, who am I going to pass it off to now? You're passing it over to Zulkifli. Oh, doesn't feel right. Take it away, right. Mr. Uh, okay. All I can say about, um, well, I, I think this is one of the greats. There, are, We've had quite a few great sessions, I think, since, um, since this party got together, and this was certainly one of them. Uh, two weeks was a long time to sit in that emotion, and it was a pleasure to play it out. Uh, I, I wondered how, if I would have any trouble summoning it. I did not, especially looking at Chloe's face. Yeah. Um, uh, what I have to say, I suppose, is that, you know, when the DM takes one of ours, we take one of his. <laughs> cookie! <laughs> Not cookie! <laughs> you know what, you know what, everybody, that resurrection <laughs> thing is going to be used on him, it's going to crumble away to dust. <laughs> uh, uh, dang, well. <laughs> railroad, um, railroad. Oh, dear. Anyway. Are you going to resurrect some random goblin we meet two weeks from now? <laughs> uh, as always, a pleasure. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for listening in if you're listening. And um, uh, we love you very much. And I'm going to pass it over to Cormac. Thank you so much, Noah. Uh, yeah, great session, as always. Had some great moments going on there. Uh, thanks to everyone in chat, as always. Thank you to our wonderful players, as also, as always. And I say it every week. I'll continue saying it. Thank you so much to our wonderful DM, Salkos, for writing this story for us and bringing us all together each week, except for last week. Yeah, but, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. had to go see the Super Mario Brothers movie, didn't you? <laughs> it was a good movie. It was a good movie. Uh, anyway, now that all the saltiness is out of the way, I'll pass it over to Nazmir. Thanks for joining us, guys. Um, yeah, that was a lot of things. Um, <laughs> I am very excited to see what happens next and glad that we're back because that uh, last week was I missed it <laughs> I missed having the D&D &D. um, yeah I, I'm still kind of processing so I will pass it on to Kaidra Okay, chat. So I did come in and the second half of the session, but I will say came in hard with the bear trap hands <laughs> concept. Okay. It's still on the table. That was no joke. Kydra will happily take the chain of a bear trap, just wrap that wrap that bad boy around there and just bear trap in the hand. They will not be getting away from those punches. They are three feet max far away from him. You know. <laughs> That's for later. What if you trap a bear in the trap and then put the whole thing on your hand? <laughs> it's a portable bear, honestly. Yeah, I mean, like bear yeah. fist. Yeah, you're fighting him barehanded. A new, like, a new uh, fighting style. The concept of you know grafting just like a limb. Yeah. Why, why stop there? Graft the entire bear on there. 
Get yourself a whole bear. I can hardly bear this. The right to bear arms. <laughs> okay. Alright. That's all I've got. Uh, am I even allowed to talk now? Oh, yeah. I love all of it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, in all seriousness, amazing session. Uh, you know, uh, Chloe, fantastic emotional energy uh, there. Um, I know that, uh, you know, Jeremiah may not have been here in body, but he was definitely here in spirit uh, for all of us. Um, and I say, and we miss Aspen, and I'm glad that everyone was able to process, uh, you know, with their characters in their own way. Um, and uh, don't want to pass up that uh, we are now landholders. Um, so, yeah, you know, that's a thing. Uh, and, uh, you know, we went with the country manor because that's what you do. You know, you don't want that big city life. It's a little too heavy. And, like, who knows what's going on with the dwarves. Parking? You know, it's a like, simulator, guys. You know, farm, hey. you know. Um, so every every Monday now, uh, Salkos is actually playing the uh, building uh, a farm for us on our land. Um, so, you know, you can watch that and just be aware that it's technically oh, tying yeah. into prestige encounters, um, even <laughs> though, you know. <laughs> Uh, but in all seriousness, wonderful session, great um, emotional energy. You, I know we get laughs in from here, but like, it's such a devastating thing to go through, especially waiting two weeks the way we did. But it means a lot that after two weeks, we can still keep that energy that sharp. Yeah. And now I'm going to pass it on. I'll share it with you. Yeah, and share it with you. And we get to pass it on to the DM who has one less NPC to play. Hooray. Um, thank you ever so much, everybody, for tuning into our session this evening. Uh, check out our full Twitch schedule throughout the, the week. We have Mondays, Mellow Monday starting stream. Tuesday is Overwatch Tuesday. Wednesday is Prestige Encounters. That's right now. Uh, Thursday is Horror Streams. So we played that by Daylight, Phasmophobia, those sort of things. Friday is Nintendo and Chill. And then Saturday is Saturday on the Seas. And once again, uh, follow us on TikTok at Prestige GC for a variety of lore videos as we dwell deeper into this world that we play in. And also our characters show a little bit more about themselves, along with uh, a number of other content creation things going on. And don't forget that until the end of the month of June, we are raising money for the Trevor Project with the goal of $1,000. Uh, so if you were thinking about subscribing, that sort of thing, just donate that instead. We'll be fine. I promise you. So thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in to this night. We cannot wait for session 35 as we start this new journey in the city of Ostelmut. Until then. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.